Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Regs Podcast, episode number 44, and I'm your host, DW, a.k.a. Darius, and I got another member with me. He's back on the podcast again. You want to introduce yourself, my brother? Yeah, yeah I know. y'all already know, bro. It's Big Fed, Big 12, you know what I'm saying? The so big the spot. big op, he is actually learning Japanese, so he can be even more oppy to the other nations of the world. You know what I'm saying? Do you do you know any words right now? Um, <clears throat> this nigga's pressing me. Yeah, um, let's see. You know what I'm saying? Uh, konnichiwa, but that's a regular, you feel me? But... <laughs> Watashi wa Tyrone uh, Gaku des. Um, you just say you, you sus? <laughs> <laughs> what you I said my name is Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> so like, oh, you said, did I say? I'm so, um, <clears throat> dang. I can say things out of context. Like, like um, what? Orgato gozaimasu. Um, what does that mean? Itekimasu. Um, itekimasu is let's eat. So. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, drink, drink that. I don't even know what oh, the yeah. hell that is. You already know. I mean, I always get my new bev on this motherfucker. I don't know what this is. It's What's lemon, that called? Lemon Perfect. Hydrating lemon water. That's, oh, that don't sound too bad. I made sure to get one with sugar, though, because I didn't want no ash. Feel me? Mm. Mm. Honest peach, re- it's peach raspberry. <clears throat> Honest reactions. It's ass, then it gets better. Like, aftertaste-wise? So the aftertaste gets better. Usually it's like, it, in the beginning it tastes like vitamin water. Like mm-hmm. the zero vitamin water. Yeah. And then from the zero vitamin water it goes to like a sweet peach. It's actually good. Let me try some. It's actually tasting worse. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I... <laughs> take another so You got to take two. You got to take two. The second one tastes a little different. The second one tastes different. Yeah. It does taste different. Right? That's weird. It's weird, right? Yeah. I'm, who's funny, this shit? What the fuck? They don't got no... That shit make my mouth sweat. That shit yeah. make, <laughs> make me drool. <laughs> what the fuck? Who the fuck make that shit? I know Elon Musk made that shit. Right? Oh, my God. Tesla Bevs. It's cool. I think he said Tesla Bevs. Yeah, <laughs> Tesla Bevs, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> if y'all haven't already, follow all the socials down below. Follow us on TikTok at No Regulars. I think we had 166... Almost at 166,000 on TikTok. Follow us on Instagram at no regulars.podcast. I think we're almost at 600 followers. And, um, oh, join the Discord, bro. Tyrone said he's going to help me out on the Discord, but currently I under dis- under construction. I think we have like 30 people in it. That's better than I ever thought. No, bro, I'm, I'm going to add it. I'm going to fix it up. Once the Discord getting fixed up, like today, by the time y'all see this video, Discord should be fixed up or it might be still under construction. I don't believe it. And we're going to get people in it. <laughs> And then y'all can send topics in there, and we can bring the topics onto the podcast. You know what I'm me. saying? People be telling me about to- uh, ask me to do po- uh, some topics. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm gonna put a channel up there so they could post it, but they can't spam, so niggas can't have a conversation. It's gonna be like you could text once every like ten minutes. Okay, bad, bad, yeah, bad. Yeah, be so yeah, join the Discord. Links gonna be in the description. Follow all of the podcasts. Follow us on all podcasts and platforms. I know Regis Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, all that good stuff. Subscribe down below. Welcome if you're new to the channel. And um, like, comment, all that good stuff. And oh, merch coming soon. Yo, I've been slacking. I've been meeting with the guy though. He's a cool dude. Oh, oh yeah, I remember you. I called you while he was with uh, talking to him. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Him, yeah. He's in Montclair, so he's helped me with stuff. Samples is probably gonna be. I probably maybe next episode because like I have like you see what I'm wearing. Yeah. I, don't, I don't watch baseball. I don't got no more fits. <laughs> I was like, I was like, you just trying to get fly, bro. I don't, I got, like, I don't have no more fits. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, you running? Out of, <laughs> I'm running out of, running fits. Out of fits for the podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> episode 44 is getting yes, crazy. Bro, I was getting bad. <laughs> like the shirts, like I'm looking through my shirt. I'm like, yo, I wore this. Shirt I gotta already. rewear this. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start wearing white tees and shit. Dang, take that. Don't worry. Hopefully next week we're gonna have samples to see what show y'all what it looks like and all that shit. But yeah, coming soon. Website probably come up soon. I gotta. I think I gotta buy like some the name or something like that. I forgot what it's called. But what we're gonna talk about today? We gotta talk about some sports because we haven't talked about sports in a while, bro. So free agency is upon us. I think it just started what yesterday. Yo, free agency opened up yesterday. Got busting right off. Yo, the like it'd be like these niggas like waiting for this shit. Yo, off the yo, KD could have easily requested a trade earlier. He said free agency, trade me. So where do you think he would go? <clears throat> Honestly, I think the best. I think it's really tough if he goes to the Trailblazers. That would be tough. I, I think mean, the Trailblazers low key pre- preparing for it too, low key. With all them picks and shit. And yeah, the I think they're players? like. I think it'd be like they get rid of Anthony Simons. That um, nigga they just drafted. The guy they just drafted. 
like three picks and then have him come play with Dame. But like imagine Kevin Durant in Portland, what you got to, like they're just it's hella depressing in Oregon. I'm not gonna lie. I think K D like I, did you see his like little documentary thing? No. Like KD's low key like to me like not a loser, but like he's like, <laughs> <laughs> like he just hoops. Oh, he's one of those no, like, so like, he won't care. Like he don't like he don't care about like James Harden, like he wanna go to clubs, you feel me? Yeah. He don't care about girls, he don't care about partying, he don't care about feel me going out to do to smoke or none of that. He well, he does smoke though. Yeah. But I was saying he don't care to do nothing like I mean, like you can tell. Look at, look at his hair, bro. Yeah, yeah. Man, don't even care about his hygiene. Hella naps. Hella naps. Hella naps his it's beard nice. be patchy. Like, yeah, he be kind of. Dang, that nigga like thirty four. Yeah, like there's no crazy. way. There's no way a grown man should be looking. But he like just that. be in the gym. That's what I'm saying. Like, so that's fine with in him? his documentary. He just had his guys with him every time and just hooping. Like that's it. He just hooping. Where's this documentary time. at? What did I see it on? It was like YouTube or something. It was back when like I was in love with basketball. Are you serious? So I watched like Ben Simmons. I watched KD. This is a Ben Simmons documentary? Yeah, that shit kind of buzzing. That's why I'm a Ben Simmons fan. I ain't gonna lie. I like Ben Simmons too. Yeah, I, I, think, don't, I don't hate on Ben Simmons like everybody. Now he actually about to turn up in, in on the Nets next year, bro. I'm is telling he's still you, in the Nets. I'm might. taking him in fantasy, bro. It's a steal. What are you going? What, what do you think his average is going to be? Fifteen, eight assists. Six, six eight, rebounds. Six, seven rebounds. That's not bad. Yeah. That's not too bad. Great fantasy. I heard Rudy Gobert got traded to the Timberwolves. I'm not going to lie. That was the worst trade they could. <laughs> like, Timberwolves, I get it. They trying to do something. They trying to play defense. But, like, you just picked up a rich man's Clint Capella. Very. That's so bad. Very. Because I'm not going to lie. Rudy Gobert, like, it was cool when Cat had the five out. So, like, you yeah. feel me? They could shoot. Gobert can't do nothing but... This I know. I think they just want him there so they could put Cat at the four and just have him just like space the floor out and shit. But Cat yeah. not gonna be on guard niggas. I ain't gonna lie. He gonna get fried. He gonna have to guard fours. Yeah. He's gonna have to guard Zion. Yes. He gonna get cooked. So Zion cooking. I heard KD to the Pelicans was a thing. Nah, that's retarded. KD For Brandon would, Ingram, KD would just hold out. For, yeah, KD wouldn't. Do <laughs> you don't want to that. play with Zion, CJ mm-hmm. McCollum. Mm-hmm. How about how about the Suns? The Suns. You heard what they said. They said they're not sending him unless they get Devin Booker or some shit. Yeah, and then immediately, like, as soon as, like, I saw reported by Woj what they wanted. Yeah. Immediately, the Suns said, all right, max contract. <laughs> <laughs> they said, yo, you with us, Doug. That's like, you funny, with us. bro. That's so deep. They should, bro, I, I want to see uh, Carl Anthony Towns play with Devin Booker. Oh, they said that was gonna that was gonna happen, but, like, they, like, they like hyped that. It was supposed to be D-Lo. Yeah, all three of them. But, like, nobody, D-Lo ass now. Yeah, he low-key mid now, bro. He look he's, he's freaking ass, bro. Yeah, he's low-key freaking mid. I ain't gonna lie. Who else? What else is going on in free um, agency? The Knicks, bro. Actually, yeah, you can close the podcast here. Like, that just blew my <laughs> shit. So I'm not gonna lie, bro. There is no way, conceivable way, you can tell me as a Knicks fan. Like, just save our money. Just, I, I just Jalen want- Brunson, for four years, we signed Jalen Brunson. For a hundred and five million dollars, bro. Million dollars. A hundred and five million dollars to some mid. I don't know. What is he? Yo, honestly, bro. Besides the role, okay, all right. He turned up. He's a role player, bro. What is he like? They think he's gonna be. I just want them. See, I, I like bro. what the Spurs did, low key. Rebuild. Yes, I could be happy if we had all our young. We got rid of our pick, but that's like I like if I was just like I want the Knicks to be like the Spurs. You know what they're they're in the direction of? They're in the direction of the Kings. The Kings is fighting for 10th place right now, if you don't ever notice. Oh, the Kings fucking suck. They're right? trying to get 10th. That's what the Knicks are trying to do. They're trying to get into the playoffs. No, just blow it up and just get good draft picks, bro. Well, like, well 10th place is pretty mid, right? Bro, that's the play-in. That's literally the play-in. That's what they're trying to get to. Yeah, but the Kings, they're low-key trying to get a lot because they got Sabonis and Fox. What they going to do? That's not a do. That's they a good duo. <laughs> they asked. The like, that's a good duo. That's like Russell Westbrook without everything, like with only his scoring. It's only Russell Westbrook's yes, scoring, bro. Then you got like Jokic, like a poor man's Jokic. Very yeah. Okay, that's poor a good man's one. Jokic. But that's, I'm just saying, bro. Like you know who's coming in the next draft, bro? You seen that nigga? Who? It's like a me. Is that a <laughs> nigga said me? It's like Rudy Go- Gobert mixed with KD, bro. What type of age? Bro, the niggas like seven three, shoot threes, dribble, dunk on niggas. Not, no, no, no. I thought he was on my chat. Nigga named like uh, Victor something. He's Wembe. white. Yeah. Nah, no, he's like a he's a light skinned dude from France though. Nigga from nice. France. He nice. What's with these foreign niggas? Bro? I don't know. They say he might be the best prospect since like LeBron. I ain't gonna lie. What? No, oh, I didn't think right. <laughs> They've been saying that for like three years though. But he been he been yo. Nigga, you know what I think is gonna be ass? Who? Chet. I don't think he gonna be too. Bro, he's so skinny, bro. So what? Why does that matter, bro? bro? I'm not gonna lie, bro. John Morant skinny as shit. No, but John Morant is a like he 
he doesn't have to bang down low. You feel me? He don't Chet's going to have to play with the fours and the threes and oh, the fives. I know, but he could be a stretch four. He don't got to play center. Stretch four. They already got Poku Seshki. They got Josh Giddy, a big guard. You feel me? They, they got the they got that dude Jalen Williams. He can play center. Let him play center. Nah, bro, I'm telling you, bad. he's not. He's gonna be fine. He's mad bro. skinny, bro. He's about to get. Kristaps was the same way, and he gave no. Up. But Kristaps was like okay. I know he was he, a like Kenny, that, Kristaps was like you know a tower. You I know, know he mean? got he got like a bird chest. Like that's bad. That's what I'm saying. He go you go right through that young man. But bro. I think he's like he's not. He don't. He's not soft though. He just looks soft. <laughs> I think that nigga's soft. I don't know, bro. He I don't know. He frying you frying him. I don't think he might. He might not guard me in the post. He'll fry me. Offensively, he'll fry me. Yeah, he'll get a bucket on me very easily. <laughs> I think he's going to punch his shit. I ain't going to lie. I think he's going to punch his shit. No, I'm actually nice as fuck. Like, <laughs> you've been, you've been like, going crazy in these summer nah, leagues, No, I ain't going to lie. I'm in like right now. If you count all of them I've been in so far, I've probably been in six summer leagues. Six summer leagues? Yeah, so far this Starting summer. since when? June? Since we since Mooksars. What is wrong with you? That's busted. Yo, this nigga's <laughs> a thought for basketball. Been, yeah, they've been passing me around, bro. The niggas been hitting me up like... Like, yo, you play in this league, bro. Like, you don't even got to pay nothing. We just need a big man. Niggas right. say, we, we need you because you tall. That's what I'm saying. Because <laughs> they know what they're getting. They're getting a point guard and a center. But you know what point guard they're getting? They're getting a Ricky Rubio. I don't even think you're Ricky they're, Rubio. You might be. No, like, I really dime. You know I dime niggas. Like, I got to put you on the. I was going to say Raymond Felton, but he has. No, Ricky Raymond Felton. Oh, my. That's <laughs> No, I'll say a Raul Neto, whatever that nigga name is. Raul Neto? Yeah. Oh, Neto, uh, the nigga yo, he's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> he's garbage. He has, bro. How is he employed, bro? I don't know. I think he just got signed by the Cavs, bro. The Cavs? I swear, I think niggas in the NBA just be throwing money around. Bro, 100. Bro, I can't believe we. Brunson? There's so many other people. Like, we could have. If we got Dante DiFrancenzo, I would have been happier. For how much? <laughs> Same breach. You're crazy. I'm happier. <laughs> I want that nigga. We probably about to get him. I think they. I heard they best friends. No, they signed Dante. Dante DiFrancenzo is on the Warriors. He just got signed. There. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's Gary geez. Payton the second just got signed to the Trailblazers. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Damn. Yo, there's this page right. They're like on it. They're like. Is I'm, it NBA Stream? No, no, no. They're like it's called JPA. Right. They have JPA football and basketball. Mm-hmm. They're on it faster than. And house of everything like Woj, they like Woj. Yo, literally, like they're better than Woj. Like they NBA. have KD. They're talking about Toronto wants KD. Ooh, that's not that. I mean, who they gonna? I'm gonna highlight some of the big ones, like uh, Malcolm Brogdon, right? Yeah, he went to the Celtics. Celtics. I honestly, the Celtics are just in panic mode to me because they signed Danilo Gallinari too. <laughs> like I'm like, what do you like? You feel me? Like, they're talking about Celtics. The K- the Celtics. KD could go to the Celtics. Yeah, but like. They're just going to trade Jalen Brown and somebody else. Yeah. They said to the Heat, they're going to trade like Bam out of bio, Tyler Hero. Oh, Bam is crazy. You can't know Bam. Bam, I ain't gonna lie. That Bam? Team, that team becomes immediately think, asked. This is what I think they do with the good Heat. I think the Heat would be a good fit, but... All right, let me re- read. I don't think the Heat would be a good fit, right? Uh-huh. Because I don't think KD's a dog, right? <laughs> now, listen, right? I feel like everybody on the Heat is a dog in terms of... like Mentality? J- I don't even got to talk about Jimmy Butler. Yeah. Dog. Bam out of bio. Dog. You feel me? Even Tyler Hero, like... Feel me that enthusiasm, like dog mentality. Like he's like, all right, yeah, like feel me, like even though he can't guard, he's going to try. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? Like he's like, a dog on offense. The only he's a he's a demon on offense. You know the only mean? person who's really not a dog, and he actually is about it, that's why he got benched is Duncan Robinson. Duncan Robinson. <laughs> but I think in a trade, how it would work if they wanted to get him would be Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, Mad Picks, and like Caleb Martin or something. Like yeah, some of them, some of them other, or like uh, Yurtsevin. Big, Omar, the, Omar, the Indian dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's, like, he's probably not even Indian racist. I know. But. That was bad. <laughs> that was racial profile. I ain't gonna lie. But I think, like, KD, like, you're gonna say, oh, how can you say KD's not a dog? You feel me? Like, he has an MVP. He's earned it. You know, all KD does, bro, think about it. He does, like, all right, so I saw this on some, I saw a clip of this. They were talking about it. KD doesn't really make anybody around him better. Right? I don't think so. You say you think so? Or you no, don't? I, don't, I don't think so. Yeah, like, he he's a dominant scorer. He's one of the best scorers ever. But besides that, I don't put him top 10 of players in it, like, ever to play. No. Not even top 15 or 20. Like, Katie's just one of the best scorers. But besides that, because he doesn't... He played with Westbrook and Harden, right? Mm-hmm. They did better without him. Yeah. Played with Kyrie. Did better without him. You feel me? Like... I know what you played, mean. Played with Steph. They did better. Like, I'm saying, like, individually, the players around him did better without him. Yeah, I don't think KD. So, I just feel like, yeah, he's probably in the tier of, like, T-Mac, but he's, like, over T-Mac, though. Yeah, T-Mac don't make plays better either. Yeah, he definitely over T-Mac. He got to be over I T-Mac. Like T-Mac gas. I'm going to say it. He's I'm gas? I'm going to be the first to say it. I'm going to be the first to say it. He just scored. 
I mean, yeah. I mean, you, just want, you just want niggas that play defense. You weird ass niggas. This is what I mean, not deep. I mean, you got to be able to pass. You he was me? never like this. You got to be able to run. You gotta be able to run a play. <laughs> Coach Log fucking brainwashed. Set this up nigga. circle. Like. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever forget that play. That and Harry. Nah, Harry. Yo, we ran here. I'm in a league with. Um, no way you're running Harry. Shout out to the uh, YLN, Young Lit Niggas. You feel me? That's, that's Young the, Lit Niggas. Our, our team. We're in the. B, pause. We're in the BBL League, Bergen Basketball League. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. Um, shout out to, uh, you know, the Young Lit Niggas. That's the team, YLN. Chim is me, Chim. Who named this team? It was Marv, Chim, Darian. They like agreed on it. It was their young lit and Kelvin. N- yeah, Kelvin's in it too. Young lit niggas. Young, yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah young lit niggas. That's corny. <laughs> I want you to tell that. That's your pussy. No, no, that's a. Yo, fry me in the comments, Chim. That is a <laughs> bad name. No. Young lit yeah, niggas. Yeah, so young lit niggas, bro. I, I, hey, Wyland, bro. They came up. You feel me? They had to have been fried coming but, up with this name. So it's me, Chim, Marv, Darian, Jabri, Kelvin. Oh, Jabri's Kenny, playing? Kenny is like in and out. Yeah, he's playing. So how many games y'all won? Uh, so yeah. we got uh, Ewing's game. To- <laughs> Bro, stop asking me questions about wins and shit. What's this nigga talking about? <laughs> this nigga so, is out here just playing basketball. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And losing. Yo, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> We're 0-3 right now. We've been getting fried. Like, like blue. Now, nah, last game, last game, I'm going to give you a quick, quick mini breakdown. We was getting smacked by 15. We came back. Yeah, last second, right? Uh-huh. We played a, a fucking protein. Uh, you know the Riverside Ballers? Yeah. Yeah, they're like a semi-protein, one of them. Those are- mm-hmm. They're in the league. And their coach was there. They're being mad weird. Like, why are you playing in the summer league if you're... Travis Johnson's in that league, too. But, oh, I've seen that. But um, I think PJ Ringo, too. But either way, we were playing. It was like coming down to the wire. It was a fast break. We're down by five. No, we're down by four. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's me in the middle. Darren's pushing it. And Marv. Darren passes it to Marv. All three of us there. You know, take the layup. Marv says, my name is Stephen Curry. He stops at the three and pulls that hoe. He, he breaks that shit. So then <laughs> he missed that hoe. Either way, we end up coming back. I mean, not coming back. We end up scoring, and we fouled them. And then they missed the first free throw. Now we're down by three. Uh-huh. 12 seconds. I, we go up. I'm like, yo, let's run a play. I draw up Harry. <laughs> we all know Harry. So we run Harry. Yeah, and then, so uh, corny. I was supposed to run it for Chim, but Jabri was in the wrong spot. So we ended up having to run it for Jabri. Uh-huh. And... Jabri like, wasn't able to get it, so Marv got fouled, whatever the case is. Came back down. We fouled him again. We're down by three. Jabri's bringing the ball up because they're like, denying Marv and Jim. Yeah. Jabri's bringing the ball up, and they go to intentionally foul, and Jabri, it's my, it's my dog. That's my dog. He smoked him? Yo, he put the shot. As he's going to reach for him, he, he feel me, does the little stuff, Curry thing, like, oh, he fouled me. Feel me? And gets the, the, the three points, so he shoots a three and gets fouled on it. Uh-huh. So then we shoot free throws to tie the game. And he missed all of them? <sighs> He, he missed all of them? <laughs> he drained the first one. The first one was super oh, okay, wet. Okay. Pause. So it was super wet. Okay. But that second one? Yeah, like he airballed? All right. So it was like an airball, but not short. It was like too far right. Oh. <laughs> but it hit rim though. It hit rim a little bit. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then after that, he missed the second one. I got the rebound. I thought there was no time left. So I just threw that hoe up. Oh, so you had a chip. I, I had mad time. I could have easily made a layup and tied the game, but I just hey, threw that shit up. And wow. It sounds time. like y'all niggas need me. Yep. <laughs> but I am not playing. <laughs> I'm only playing Filipino leagues. <laughs> That's something. Where my talent is wanted. Ho ass niggas. <laughs> I love that, that Filipino. <laughs> That's some big ass dudes in that, in that shit. What's this thing? What, like, like big ass and tall? Yeah, like, you look like. Se- I mean, they look seven foot because, like, you know. They're Everybody like, rust height. So, yeah, so they're not. They're, not they're probably tall. like six one. Yeah, I don't know. about. They're not really the tallest nigga. Is probably like AJ. Low key, he might oh, want me damn. one of the tallest. Damn, AJ like six three. Six yeah, three. so there's a dude on my team is like six three. I don't know if he's damn. playing this weekend, so damn. we'll see. But damn. oh, I got a question, right? Yeah. So say so since you're the zombie expert, mm-hmm. so say you're in the zombie apocalypse, right? Mm-hmm. And you think you're the only human alive, though. So you're by yourself. But you see two people. There's two people that's in trouble that you find. Which one would you go and save? A pregnant woman or a doctor? <laughs> Yo, y'all hear this? <laughs> Yo, this is what type of. This is such an obvious answer. You go. You go pick the doctor. I'm clearly saving the doc. Oh wait, that's dumb because the pregnant woman has a child that could. That could repopulate the the earth. The earth. You think you're the only one. The left. doctor's a man. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> you're sexist. <laughs> Woman can be doctor sexist. Um, the doctor to get me out of here. A male, <laughs> what the a male doctor or a woman who is pregnant. Yes, 
You look, you could have found a loophole if you didn't say that. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> right? Damn. I'm not going to lie. I think. Damn, save the woman. Ah. She's pregnant. Wait, nah, she's pregnant? That means there's somebody around. There's got to be a guy around. What if the nigga died? He's a zombie. Yeah, like what if he became a zombie? She just. That's the zombie that's attacking her. She's like, help. I'm a doctor for real. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I'm going to save the pregnant woman. I think I am too. But like the doctor, though, like if I'm being. It depends on how I'm feeling that day. I'm not going to lie. I like say I'm in my little hut. Say we huddle up in this room and I look outside. He's like, help me. Help me. He's a pregnant woman. And I see like a doctor like hanging from a tree or something. Like, please, I need help. Yeah. And only have one time time to get one. <laughs> probably gonna, yeah, I probably get the woman. I'll probably get the woman. Ah. Uh, but you be in the field though. You don't need a doctor. I be I you know, bro, I don't need nothing. I mean I don't need nothing nobody else. I got my backpack, bro. Oh, so you straight. Yeah, I'm straight, bro. Backpack. <laughs> back. so I got the, oh my that's god. That's in my truck right now, bro. You're weird. Yeah, I'm straight. I gotta re up on uh Canned food though, because you I be left eating it in a, out of that. No, no, no check. <laughs> what? that's dirty. Stuff. That's nasty. <laughs> I left that shit in the car, so like the heat oh, it probably so spoiled. Yeah, probably. So I want to re up on that. Wow, you that's never know what happened. This motherfucker, bro. Yeah, bro. Right, you got anything you want to talk about before I go into yes, the, I have the a, conspiracies? I got not really conspiracies. Just got I got some good stuff to talk about. You know what? We suck, All right, bro. What? <laughs> Mitchell Robinson just got like a big deal. Yeah, I know. He oh, just I don't know why I just let him walk, bro. Yeah, I do. Ass. I have a. He not. He blocks shots. All right, bro. He yeah. crazy as shit. <laughs> he annoy the hell out of me. He slows up, but um. <sighs> which which question you want to hear first? You want to hear my um, my crime question, or do you want to hear the um, my eugenics question? <laughs> we can do the eugen. Oh, you can do the crime one. You can do the crime one. All right. So I re- I really genuinely want to know what you would do, right? Now. Uh-huh. You're putting a scenario, right? You have to commit a crime, mm-hmm. right? Any crime. Mm-hmm. Once you commit that crime, it will never be able to be done again. Like, it'll just be wiped from humanity. Nobody will be able to do it. And I can't get caught. I- you won't get caught. You just have to live with what you did. Oh, okay. That's like, easy. But everybody will know you did it. So oh. you're known as the only man to ever... like, And it goes scenario-based, too. So, like, I'm going to just give you a quick example. Uh-huh. If you go and shoot up a school, schools will never be shot up again. Oh yeah, it's like yeah, it's like that. Like uh-huh. if you like put it like this, if you sl- get like ten sleeves and torture the hell out of them, never again. But you're that guy though. <laughs> that like, you could be Hitler, but it would never happen again. Um, what crime? How? What extent are you gonna save humanity? <laughs> but the story is like, what? What is about legacy? Yeah, you're, <laughs> your legacy. D. What crime are you committing? Uh, I was gonna say a home invasion, so nobody ever robbed my house. <laughs> that's, a, that's the first thing I thought You're gonna break it to a crib And just steal, and steal So nobody ever steal And your free shit yeah. and Nobody can steal it back that's Nobody nobody can steal my stuff I was also gonna say murder So nobody would like die Well does that count? Yeah that's, a, that's, a, that's like a I think does that have to be that specific? Like murder? Yeah Alright Depends like Yeah murder you could you could do you could use murder. I don't think I can kill somebody though. That listen, you're gonna kill somebody. Now? You <laughs> just ended somebody's life, and now you're known like the last guy to ever kill somebody is that guy. <laughs> I know. And like your name is cemented, like like as hey. You, so if you're gonna kill one person, why not kill them? Like not them all, but like going to serial killing spree. So like now, like say you kill five people or whatever, ten people, there would be no more serial killers. Oh. So like murder won't be allowed, but if somebody's gonna kill somebody, they gotta kill <clears throat> multiple people. So like you're kind <clears> of <throat> your your sacrifice was like irrelevant now. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. You kind of gotta go OD, or like you gotta go so small as to turn like Wait, shoplift. Yeah. So no one ever steal from a good store again. <sighs> I'm not shooting up a school. I'm not saying that on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that on the internet. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do a home invasion, bro. Well, I drive by. You know what I would do? I do. I do drive by so I can say I the, would have an abortion. You would have an abortion? It's like, nah, because that should be legal <laughs> yeah, now? Yeah, look at this thing. <laughs> See, but it's good, though. It's good and bad. People want, you feel me, to, like, their body, their choice. So I'm going to make sure, I'm going to break the law. See? You can't even have an abortion, That's, like, that's a win-win situation. But you can't have one. I'm going to make, I'm going to have, like, somebody, somebody's going to be pregnant. And I, damn. Oh, you're gonna, so you're going so you're gonna to punch somebody the, who Somebody who wants an abortion, I'm going to make sure it happens. Domestic abuse? <laughs> <laughs> you made this shit flip on me. I don't know how you did it. You made this shit flip on me crazy. Hey. No, but I think um 
you say domestic abuse. Nobody ever. Miles Bridges, you still be hooping. You know what? I might. I might. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to jump somebody. Oh, so nobody will ever get jumped again? Yeah, like. Like you're going to assault somebody. I'm going to assault somebody, like really badly. But it's going to be somebody I don't like. So I'm going to find somebody who I don't like. So I got somebody in the tank. And I'm going I'm to go get wow. him. Wow. I'm going to beat him up. They're not going to die, though. I'm going to beat him up. Now people can't get beat up. And I solved my problem. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hey, cool. what, about, what about domestic violence? Miles Bridges will be still in the league right now if he did I, it. I really, yo. Would you save Miles Bridges? I'm not gonna lie. You saw, you saw his girl. How her yeah, face yeah, looked? yeah. He's he's wild. I ain't gonna lie, deed for him. And he's an athletic beast. So I know that she was painful. Now he got mad about. Now he. You ever see that? No, he's mad. This nigga said. <laughs> He is that shit. Nah, bro, I'm telling you, bro, that shit is max, bro. But I honestly, bro, Miles, he's done up. But there was a thing I was thinking about, right? So in terms of Miles Bridges, like Miles Bridges, they're gonna kick him out the league. Right? Yeah, probably. But probably like a year or two. Who was the person that had somebody in my mind that they had uh, kicked out the league? Tyreek Evans. That didn't need to. No, nah, not him. That didn't need to get kicked out of the league. OJ Mayo. No, nah, not him. Was it a football player? I forgot. Football player. Damn. Wasn't it wasn't doing somebody wide some, receiver? Some woman. No, it was a basketball player. It's fairly recent. I forgot, but they're about to kick Miles Miles Bridges out the league. But um That that was bad. I heard she freaking how the hell you tear her eardrum? Oh what? She has like a torn like eardrum. <laughs> how the hell you, you know do- that nigga be rapping, so he probably <laughs> <laughs> like, got up to her, like, oh, <laughs> in her ear. <laughs> I don't like, know what the hell he did. He freaking tore muscles in her neck from, like, strangling her. He probably dunked her. <laughs> dunked her in a basket. <laughs> bro. Nah, that's so deep. Nah, you, see, you, ever see, you ever seen his raps, bro? They was talking about it's that actually nigga. actually spits bars. That nigga said, they said he's trying to get out the league, not out the hood, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got out the league, nah, bro. that's so deep. Yeah, he definitely did. The... That's so deep, bro. Like, him. Damn. But think about it. Like, somebody like Miles Bridges, like, he... Is not a star, so they're gonna skate him. But bro, he it, was about to make bread, though. He was on the verge. He was like, he, right to, th- he was talking about max contract me, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, actually, today he got convicted of uh, not convicted, but charged with a felony. Yeah, like what domestic violence, right? Mm-hmm. Bro, like he was like, if this is all star, he was like, this is all star. He was like right there. He just need Very one close. more good year. He'd been all star, and now look at his dumb ass. He want to be. You know what's crazy? I always loved Miles Bridges, bro. Me too. In high school, remember when? Miles Bridges was the guy, and I remember he he was at uh, Michigan State for mad long. Mm-hmm. I'm like, go to the league already, bro. Like, <laughs> love watching. That I never knew he was like this. I ain't gonna lie. I thought he was just like no, dude, nigga nah, from him, Flint, Michigan. Nah, he's really, he's really like a, a nigga. Bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Because like, yo, he be rapping like him and John Morant don't care. Like they have no PR. Like they don't even. Nah, John Morant is weird. I don't know what's nah, wrong. Nah, John with Morant. Him. I mean, he could do what he want because he like from he the, he's a young lit nigga. For me, so <laughs> he could do what he want. But like, he be wild. You be seeing on Instagram? Yes. Both of them be out here throwing up games like, yeah, I got that lean pack. Like, I'm yeah. like, what? I don't know what's wrong with these guys, bro. Y'all are crazy. They doing the wrong profession. Yeah, that's just crazy. To me, but, bro. oh, I got a question, bro. Mm-hmm. So, which community would you rather see, like, be exterminated and, like, die off from the face of the, the planet? So, there wouldn't be no more of them. But all bugs or all gang members? Wait. <laughs> you just asked 12? <laughs> but just remember, these gang members have... Oh, lives and some families of them aren't that bad though. And rappers are gang members. Damn. So the music might did But I'm low key crip. So like, <laughs> like shout out to UJ. Like I'm low key crip though. Like because you know blue lives matter and shit. So it's like <laughs> <laughs> they can talk about cops. Um I'm not gonna lie, all gangs. All gang members. Or all insects? Or all insects and bugs. You're by the way, you are a piece of you just put them in the same category. But um <laughs> what? So you're gonna get jumped. Uh I think I'm gonna go with gangs. <laughs> why's everybody go with gangs? Yeah, because why like why did you join the gang? Those are human beings, bro. You <laughs> childish human beings. Look, this, let me get now I'm now I'm gonna break it down exactly how I feel about gangs, right? right? Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> Most of the people I know who join the gang always join when they're young, like I'm talking like in high school mm-hmm. for me. You know people we know. I, I'm not gonna name drop crazy, but yeah, I know what you mean. You know people we know who join gangs, especially in high school. Everybody's like, "Oh, I'm brave. I'm this whatever cases, right?" Yeah. And then some of them I know now, as we start to mature, like 23 years old, hit 24, and they're like, "Damn, I need a job," or they end up going to jail, yeah. or they're dead. Remember I told you about? Yeah. Remember I told you my friend, my whole friend group, like 
one of them, two of them are in jail, one of them died, and another one's on a run. Like, yeah. another one's a crackhead. Feel me? So it's a whole, that friend group is kind of crazy. Yeah. But then, it's all because, like, I, in high school, we, like, we went to a very good high school. We live in the suburbs. We went to a very good high school. I know. No need to be a gang member. No There's need no to need. sell drugs, none of that. Nah, bro. But it's glorified, so it looks good. So they joined it. As a mature, like, damn, this is kind of ass. You uh-huh. feel me? Like, and then it's too late. You just got to be a hood nigga now. And I met some guys like at South Beach, like the guys who I work with, whatever. Like they're like you know very mature now. Like some of them came out of jail and all that, and they all talk about like, oh, I don't want to really be in a gang no more. That's what I'm saying, bro. But my whole point is like, feel me, yeah, I shouldn't have been so childish and joined the gang. So <laughs> you feel me, like the shoot, get at me. How many gang? There's more murder. You know when you join a gang, bro. You know what it's affiliated with, bro. Yeah, no. Feel me? I'm joining the feds. Like I know what it's affiliated with, bro. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> if you join a gang, you know you join a murderer, so you have a chance of dying. So now you yeah. have to die, cause I, ch- cause I chose you have to die. <laughs> Plus insects. I mean, like, yeah, we need bugs. Like the so you're the car- getting rid of bugs. No, I'm not getting rid of bugs. I oh. probably I might have to get rid of the gang members. <laughs> Sorry, people. <laughs> but look, think about it, right? Mm-hmm. Like uh, the cartel, they won't be here. But like, how many people? Like, what do you think the population will go to? Jake, you pass me the um the laptop charger. Like just passing the the Speaking cord. Speaking of Crips, that's why you UJ gonna be dead. Hey yo, you just name. <laughs> <laughs> you just say you're not Crip. <laughs> Don't let him hear that. Um, let me think. Uh, like think about it. like how how many people you think? The population will probably drop to. I think you take out one sixth. Of the population, <laughs> so now nah, that's a big number. That's like about like six hundred million. Lot, are there? Oh, damn, this is gonna sound so racist. <laughs> are there gangs in India? <laughs> India, yeah. And, and China, no, they a, have a biggest population. Of the there's world. a lot of Asian gangs, like really bad. Yeah, there are. Okay, so I don't know about India. I never heard of that. I don't yeah, think I'll be I gotta, scared. I gotta no ask cap. my boy Joe. I wouldn't be scared of no Indian gang. I ain't gonna lie to you. Nah, you know what? They might be bad. They might like... They, they might... I think they like slaughter niggas like... Throw curry at you. So, <laughs> so, let me stop. But I'm wild in a while. Yo. Oh, no. They go wild. But, um, hey, yo. I think... Yeah, I think it would drop about an eighth. So like, what's that? Maybe 300 million, maybe? I'll tell you right now. I'm nice at math and shit for me. So. But that's like 8 billion people. How the hell are you going to put that in a one eight? Why? That's so easy. Eight, there's 8 oh, billion people. Oh, so like what? A, mil- a billion. 1 billion going. That's a lot of that, people. That is not a billion gang member. That's, <laughs> that's not a billion gang I'll be dead right now. <laughs> nah, bro. It's got to be like a 12th. Yeah. Uh, all right. That's not bad. Like, damn, this is bad. I, I got to say like... That's a lot of people. That's a lot of... Hey. We get more food. Like, are people affiliated with gangs too? Nah, just like, you got you got sanctioned in. Damn. Anybody got jumped in. The people that... In the, like, a, the, like a 20th. Oh, that's not bad. 120th. See, see, the music probably gonna be ass though. Think about it. That's a lot of music You know what would be funny out. though? What? If like, we don't lose any music. Oh, they was just lying like, about it? <laughs> 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 now niggas gotta listen to 6 9 Oh my yeah. God, bro. That's funny. Hey, man. Yeah. But... Since we're talking about wiping off like a, a population, mm-hmm. do you think I was I was watching Joe Rogan podcast the other day, like some of the clips. I I, I put Leonard on the other day when we was at work. Oh, he because yeah, he like because you know Leonard low key like a nerd like me. He like aliens and shit. So like we was listening. I was listening one and I go to like the gym. I use like the little stepper shit. Yeah, you know that shit works on your bounce. By the way, that's good for your like bounce. Like say no more. That's what you dunk down and shit. That's, Damn, I could, I could grab. You see me grab the rim at Curryville yeah. with two hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, Yo, what is he doing? He about to dunk that. That was nice. Yeah. But I was like, he had a guy interviewed. And I guess he's doing like a um, documentary about Hitler, and he thinks that Hitler like faked his death. I believe it. I think so too, because especially they had technology, you get away with that. Like supposedly, like so when they were like, you know, when Germany lost the war. They had there was like invading him. There mm-hmm. was invading like his territory. Like everybody was dying left and right. So they said that him and his wife like poisoned themselves and then like I think blew up the building or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. But and they said they found like his skull and like the Russians took his skull and put it in a museum. But then recently, yeah, freaking weird. I don't know. Wait, what? That's what I said. Hitler's skull. They supposedly found like his body and the like niggas want to go to war with Russia is crazy. Bro. Hey, bro. They, like over here. Putting heads on stage. That's that's. But they didn't put it on the thing. They just like had it in the back. Mm. So they had this skull, and then somebody I guess snuck in there and like took a DNA swab test, and it was actually not his skull, but it was a woman's skull. So it was probably his wife. So they think, I guess, like him and the other like Nazis, 
escape to South America. Now there is like report, like actual reports of like old Nazi like um, higher ups, whatever, like mm-hmm. below Hitler, that were actually found in, like Brazil, like in like the 20th century, 20, 21st century. Mm-hmm. I think it was like 2004 or six or something like that. <clears throat> and they've been living down there since they lost the war mm-hmm. their whole life. They just like, I think it was like the Nuremberg trials or whatever. They were supposed yeah. to like, like trial and they their father. That shit. Yeah, they just dip. Yeah, take care. And like, you know, and like I, he was talking about like, there's like in Chile, there's like communities of like straight German people. Like you, in the middle of Chile, niggas just speak and German. You, tell, you said something uh, about Africa too. Having just straight oh, communities yeah. of, it's like, it's Germans. Like, they just... Yeah, I think that's, like, South Africa. Yeah, they just, like, it's, like, why? You that's know, what but I'm saying. Where they, you feel me, the Nazis. That, and what they mean. said, like, that those towns is, like, descendants of, like, all Nazis. Like, third generations, I think. Like, just imagine you walking through the, the mountains of Chile, you just see a, a town full of... Freaking speaking Spanish. Caucasians speaking... They have such a Yeah, like, what the hell? <laughs> they don't even know why they speak in German. Like, they think it's normal. See hair drum loads? That'd be OD. Hey, that's funny as hell. <laughs> I haven't forgot about that nigga. But... Oh my God. Yeah, I think he... I think he probably... Because I don't think it's that hard to fake your own death. I also, too, lie. back then, I don't think they had, like... um They didn't have technology like that. So, say he escaped... They There's never... not many cameras that can run your face recognition. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Then by then, he's out. Now he's gone, and on top of that, they won the war, so as a government, it would make more sense if you cannot find Hitler, uh huh, and you already seized the Nazi empire or whatever, Yeah. to just say we killed him. Exactly. Because then if he comes out, oh, oh, oh you're alive, all right, now we're actually going to kill you. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Feel me? So like, to just say he's dead... If it smooths over every country, even Germany, who lost the war, mm-hmm. to say that he died instead of saying he's alive but he's running, like, yeah, you feel me? That's just more stress it on may, people. Yeah, it makes it so because much it makes easier. people think like it's gonna happen again. Somehow. Yeah, exactly. So like, like you think like what's his name? Bin Laden. You think Bin Laden? No, that nigga dead. Oh, he dead. Oh, okay. No, Bin Laden. I believe he's he's firm. Corey yeah. think he he's a LeBron fan right now. He's watching the the Cavs game. He was a LeBron fan, wasn't he? <laughs> he was. was a Le- yeah, I think he was a LeBron. Fan. I mean, <laughs> no, King John was. That's Rami fan, but yeah, I think um, not nah, Osama. I think I think is dead. Okay. Yeah, don't ever take someone away from Barack Obama again. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, do you, like, do you think it's hard to like fake your own death? Like, do you like if you can fake your own death? Like, how would you do it? Nah, it's mad hard to fake your own death. Like this realistically, day, like, all right. So, to fake your own death to like people around you, mm-hmm. like who we are, I feel like we can fake our own deaths, mm-hmm. right? But if, like, in God's pleasing three years from now, yeah, hopefully I'm working where I want to work, yeah, then it'll be hard for me to fake my death because they'll do, like, all right, let's actually check it. Because, like, if you die, like, no one's double, <laughs> besides, like, your dad and your mom oh, are yeah. going to double check, like, like is he cause... really dead? You know what I'm saying? Like, say, like, you, so this is what I say. Say you, like, put a bomb in your crib, like, uh-huh. in your room, on your, something like that. Yeah. Made, made a whole scenario for it to work. Like, they're going to check the bones. You put fake bones, whatever cases. case is. Mm-hmm. Now, if they really need to, like, say you're the president or see somebody in a position of, like, power or whatever, they'll be mm-hmm. like, make sure this is the, make sure it's him and check his DNA. But if it's just you, ain't nobody checking your DNA, bro. I mean... They're just going to pronounce you dead and the niggas going to cry. But, like, I feel like if you're higher up, I feel like it's, like, easier because, like, you can, you can, like, you can pay niggas just to lie about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like rich people, I feel like rich people can yeah. fake their own death mad easy. Yeah, but I don't know, cause like once somebody checks that shit, like there's so much technology now, like especially what I be learning in school, like you can, bro. We know so much about rocks, bro. You don't think we I know, know man. right? Yeah, you feel I me? know that was a, that was rough. We already learned about rocks. Limestone. Yo, me, me and Tyrone took the what, what was that class called? Planet, Planet Earth. Planet Earth. We took a Planet Earth class. It was like two years ago. We literally just studied rocks for like a good three hours and got an A plus on the midterm, bro. Bro, if you show if you show us a piece of rock. We know what Dolomite. the fuck that is. Dolomite, <laughs> exactly graphite, all that shit, bro. know exactly what that hell is. Exactly what that hell Minerals, is, bro. all that shit, bro. I be looking at Minecraft different now. Wow, are you serious? They yeah. have the same rocks? They be having different... Like, yeah, the type of types of rocks. That's so funny. You know, the subcategories, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's OD. But I think, nah, faking death, I think... Nah, I don't think you can fake it nowadays, really. I Honestly, nah. Too much facial recognition? Even even if the cops did investigation, say you tried to do something... Yeah. They'd, they'd be able to be... Like, they'd be able to tell, like, oh, no, he's not dead. There's no way somebody dies that way. Uh-huh. For me, I don't think it's possible. You think, because like, I seen this one video on TikTok. It was like a guy, and I guess like, he was like, he's some German dude, and he comes, and then he's like, he's just talking, and he's like talking, and then he gets like a mask, and he puts the mask on, and it's like mm-hmm. a completely different nigga. Like, it's like perfect. Oh, like a skin mask. Yeah, the skin mask shits. Damn. That yeah, shit looks- I've seen 
I seen one of those on like YouTube. Mm-hmm. Somebody putting that on, and those are scary because like they take it off. I'm like, bro, now I'm scared. That's what I'm saying. Like you, know you saying? can't you can't good. trust what niggas look like nowadays, bro. Probably sweaty as under that damn ass. Like, I know. Even like when they be doing like the CGI for like movies. Think oh about yeah, it. yeah. They probably if you really wanted to do that for your regular life, you could do that. That's true. Yeah, that's true. But oh, I got another question, right? So so say you died, right? Mm-hmm. You going you going to hell, but the devil gives you these tasks. And you could pick which task to do, and if you succeed, then you get to go to heaven, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yep, yep. This is, I know you, bro. So this is the so these are the tasks, right? Yeah. You must win a season of America's Got Talent, and you only have two years to do it. That's one. You must run 15 miles barefooted on top of broken Legos, and you have five hours time limit. 15 miles. Spin a wheel for a one in one thousand chance of going to heaven. You have to go. From Maine to California on foot, and you have a month to do it, or you must survive a month in the desert. So let me let me break it down. There's what was no the first one again. Say the first one again. You have to you have to win a season of America's Got Talent, and you only have two years to do it. There's no way you're winning that shit. I don't care. <laughs> Yo, I'm not talented, bro. <laughs> what the hell you gonna do? <laughs> Tell me what the fuck you gonna do. I'm a Damn, I'm not even like a dunker for real. Like, <laughs> you go a duck? <laughs> nah, it's deep. Like, there's, there's no, no way. way. There's no shot. There's, um, You must... All right, the next one is like, you must run 15 miles barefoot on top of broken Legos, and you have five hours to do it. Yeah, I remember the rest. I think... Honestly, I think I'm going to go either the desert or... Like, you're saying, like, right... I kinda, right now. I kind of want to see how many miles it is. Like, I, already t- I already looked up from, from Maine to California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes a 1,020 hours. That's about 42 days. That's nonstop. But that's walking. Yeah. So, so you're you can, telling me I got to wake up? You really can't. You might not. That's like without sleeping, basically. Oh. So like you have to. If you jog, it's like. Not nah, desert for. Wait, I don't have nothing? Nothing. Right now. You just drop me in the sand? Just drop you in the sand. You just lost as fuck. For a month? Yeah, bro. I was looking at this shit. I'm like, you know, I might as well just spin the fucking wheel. Cause everything else. The wheel not going to hit, though. Like, it's not, but I'm like, what You know the? niggas be on FanDuel, bro. That shit don't hit. <laughs> plus a thousand. Anything plus a thousand don't hit, bro. I'll tell you. Bro. You can run 15 miles barefoot, dude. That's a lot. On late. So, I could run 50. And I have how long to do it? You have five hours. That's going to hurt, though. Your feet hurt. But, like, you go to heaven. I could run... I run a mile and chill. Walk another mile. It's you might crazy. have to... You, See, I feel like people be gassing Legos. So look... <clears throat> Legos hurt, bro. <clears throat> Here's the thing, though. Step on one Lego, you're done up. Mm-hmm. Your foot has a bruise. <laughs> but if you're stepping on multiple Legos, cool it. But you're running. Yeah, but it's multiple Legos. Bro, just imagine just, just the pressure. Bro, you 6'8". Yeah, but <laughs> so think about it, right? Now I'm gonna see about debunk it. Loophole got it. All right, oh, so check God. me, check me, Here check me. Go. Look, it's a surface press. So look, you ever seen somebody stand on like a whole bunch of nails? Yeah. Oh, I and they'd be fine. It's because the like the pressure is spread out. But if you stand on one nail, through your foot. Uh huh. Feel me? So one Lego, pain. Feel me? Because you bruising your foot. Uh huh. But then if you put mad Legos, even if you're running con- consecutively, it's not gonna bruise your foot because it's a whole bunch. Now, like you said, you go to your toes. But as you're going to your toes, your left foot is going down. Feel me? So you're running. You'll be cool. Barefoot, you... I, that's, I'm going to do that. Yeah. That shit's going to hurt. devil can't handle me, bro. <laughs> that's, hey, that's it, but I'm not going to lie. I'm going to slip one time. Nah, I'm going to slip like eight times. Every mile, I'm going to slip and like get a real... I'm probably going to bleed a little bit. Nah, you're going to be messed up. Your feet going to be messed up. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. I'm doing Legos. I think sure. you know what I think I'll do that. I was either doing that or walking from Maine to California. Or but you're not meeting. I know I'm not. <laughs> I might die. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? You gotta get food and shit. Not I, gotta, I gotta like speed rush through the. Through the <laughs> but nigga, we work out basketball and have an off day, bro. You have no off day. I don't know for a month straight. I'll be two fit. days, and that's walking. Sp- you're not making it, bro. I mean, I could I could run. You're not making it, bro. There's no. Uh, you're not making it, bro. It's gonna take me like two days to get through New Jersey. The state and this New Jersey is like the smallest one, <laughs> so it's gonna take me about two days. God, and then you have to go around shit. It's not even a straight path. I know you gotta go like up. Oh my god, you gotta go up mountains. You're gonna have to pass the Grand Canyon, bro. Damn, and I gotta go through. Gotta go. Was it the Rockies? I gotta go over the Rockies and the Appalachian Mountains. Yeah, bro. never. Mind. I can't do that shit. <laughs> for you, I think bro. I'm just gonna run the 15. You're gonna miles. go through every biome. 
<laughs> Literally. You're stop at Marshalls and buy a coat. Like, what the, <laughs> there's nothing you can do. You're done. God. Dang, bro. But. Did you know there's deserts in, um, what was it called? South Dakota, Idaho. There? In Utah. There's deserts, like sandy, like deserts, like in what you see in movies. There's deserts out there. Really? How I the did, like with sand. I didn't know that. How's that possible? Isn't it cold up there? What if it snows? It, it's like both. I don't I don't know, bro. I haven't been there, bro. It's just weird. That's what I'd be saying, bro. The world yeah. is weird nowadays, man. Yeah, bro. Hey, but hold on. Let me before you go into one of your topics, I want to talk about this one thing, bro. Okay. I was thinking about this the other day, bro. So mm-hmm. I was thinking like, what if the government is telling us the truth about what they do, but it's in like a different way? So yeah, okay. so let me explain to you, right? Okay. So you know how companies like some co- like when companies like medicines and like bad things like cigarettes, they they give you warnings, but they put warnings in like fine print, so you don't really notice it. Mm-hmm. And like you know when you're like the drug companies like about like what's that mesothelioma that commercial? Mesothelioma. You know how they talk <laughs> really they, really fast. And they only do it at like two a.m. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like some it's like when you don't really notice. So it's like so imagine. Yo, <laughs> yes, they be talking mad fast. Yeah, so so like, imagine the government's telling us like what they do, but it's like through like movies and like TV. So like through the movies where it's like um, what's it like? What's it called? So so like movies where they talk about aliens and shit like that. What if the what if those are the aliens that they know about and they're like showing us how to like prepare for shit like that? Even though we will not survive. I robot. I robot. Even though and like zombie movies. What if they're preparing us? For the zombie apocalypse that might happen, but it's just we just think it's fake because but they're not they're telling us, but it's just not it's not directly it's like indirect and like with the Simpsons right we think mm-hmm. it's time travel what if they're that's like proof they know how to do time travel and that's like their proof and they're just showing us through TV like as the Simpsons like they think the Simpsons predicting because they think it's time travel they just they're doing it and telling us it's time travel but they're doing it through the Simpsons not directly telling us to make it seem like it's fake but it's really real you know it's crazy. I actually believe that shit like that happened. Now, look, check this. What? I haven't seen it yet. Mm-hmm. But you heard of the movie Nope? Uh, Yeah, I heard like about it. Jordan Peele or mm-hmm. Mike, one of them two. They made it. And I heard that, that it's OD, but like though, like movies that are like really, really sci-fi that like break a type of barrier, mm-hmm. I feel like there's some type of message to like desensitize us to shit. That me too. You feel me? So like, like you said with zombies and stuff like that, just so we like... Are not like, whoa, I've never seen this before. Like, mm-hmm. remember we talked about it? I think it was my last episode or episode before that. We talked about how they released all the government things of the aliens. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're real now. Like, it's a proven fact now. They, mm-hmm. Like, they said, yeah, we've had aliens here since 1950. Like, yeah. feel me? Now they're like, but now, nobody's tripping though. Mm-hmm. If they said that in the 60s, they'd be ma- aliens are here. Riots. Crazy. That's what I'm saying. They'd be like, the government can't protect those. Get your guns. Now we've seen so many alien movies, so many TV shows of aliens. Everybody's like, it's like, no, oh, I was right. Okay, back to normal. It's like, it's like normal now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's like, and it's like, people look at it and be like, that can't be real. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, what was I about to say? Freaking nope. and like, mm-hmm. the key and pull the what's the name? Yeah, uh, the, nope. Like those movies. Yeah, yeah, like those movies. Like that's some look, weird as hell. Like they were mad. Like the first one, Get Out. Yo, that's what I'm saying. That's but then, creepy. And then like, uh, what was the other one after that? Us. Uh, Us. Something like that. I was like. That is impossible. Like that's feel me. That's it's a great movie. It was a great movie. Oh yeah, yeah. Nothing like that could happen. But say five more movies come out like that. Like what if the, that's like the then, then the we're gonna be like oh, okay that's feel me like oh imagine if this feel how we're talking about a co- uh, podcast. Imagine if this happened. Like just in general, like um, not the aliens, with um, not, like just people like scary movies with people breaking into houses and people yeah. like you know stuff like that. Now people are like, especially with the like, people are no longer like, oh, now I'm now I'm scared. We're literally joking about it. Mm-hmm. When COVID happened, we saw so many pandemic movies. I know so many quarantine movies that when it happened, we were like, oh, this is funny as hell, yo. We really literally yeah, exactly. We're, we did not. Nobody took that shit serious, bro. That's true. That and, is really and then true. even when they said, yo, you can't even go to work no more. You can't go to school. Like, yo, school at home. Oh, we still didn't take that shit serious, bro. That is true. So we was on the phone like, yo, we on the game? Yeah, bro. Nigga, I built a computer. That's like, true. <laughs> you feel me? Like nobody took that shit serious. We took that. That's creepy. That's crazy. I that's ain't what gonna they're lie. desensitizing to. That's what I think personally. That's tough. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. That's, that's tough. Be. Because like the like the Get Out movies, that shit could low key be happening, bro. Like you be hearing about bro. what what be going on. Like Mike Tyson be thinking like the rich people be stealing poor niggas and no shit like that. Doubt. No doubt. I'm and, like you yo. heard about the dude from LSU 
the freaking the the basketball player that was dating the white girl, and they he freaking oh, yeah, 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 yeah they was yeah. they went down the river and I guess like she they think she killed them or some shit like that her family yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so like that don't sound like get out like what if they took that bro I'm telling you like and even all right part of it too is like the Kardashians yeah you know how like they're getting all these rich people and then they always get fucked up in the brain mm-hmm. like. We just don't know about Tristan Thompson, but that nigga. You know, oh yeah, he D. He might be like, D. Like even Travis Scott, like from the whole, every, like you gotta peep little things. Like you said, <clears> Kanye, <throat> bro. Remember, bro, Kanye's done. That's my guy. Like, come on, bro. Free him, but um, free him. Like uh, Travis Scott, like his whole concert shit, like the whole devil thing. Everyone's yeah. talking about. You know, after he's with Kylie, Kylie, right? He's with yeah, yeah. Kendall. He was no, it's Kylie. It was Kylie. Kylie. Yeah, but yeah, after he was with uh, Kylie, whatever cases, all this stuff is ha- so like they're targeting certain people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That shit gets kind of. It's weird, Kind of super wild, bro. That's I don't know, saying. bro. And I like, think it's true, though. I think so. Oh, it's crazy. Like, it's really just indirect, like, marketing, low-key. Yeah. And, like, like with the time travel shit with the Simpsons, I heard, like, Leonard told me the other day, like, you know, they came out with documents, like, from the Pentagon that says, like, they've made, like, anti-gravity, like, ships and freaking, like, they know how to do time travel now. And this was in the 50s, bro. Nah, that's okay. Just imagine what they could do now. Like, they said they made, um... 50s. They made like aircrafts that do like that have like anti gravity with them and shit like that, and they mm-hmm. have they send like one pilot into like space to do like supposedly deep space colonizing some shit like that. So like, what if like the little UFOs we be seeing? What if that's not aliens, but it's like us? We're just test driving. I shit. think I think we like got shit on the moon. Oh yeah, I already think we got shit. Like I feel yeah. like all this shit that we think. No, we got we definitely got like plants on the moon. We probably probably been to Mars. Yeah, because I, I think they went to the moon and then said, okay, it's cool, it worked. Now let's tell the public. Feel me? Yeah. Like, secretly. I feel like they, they tell us shit mad late. Oh, yeah. Like, they definitely right. tell us shit mad late, bro. Like, all this shit that they be talking about, bro, there's hella files about that. And they was talking about, they said there's there's at least 5 million aliens living amongst us. Oh, no. Nah. Uh, see, that right there? If that's true, it's lit. That's lit? <laughs> see? See? I don't take that shit serious. That's what I'm saying. Dude, back then, man, aliens with us. You know, I would have been but tripping. Like now, we now don't... Now I'm like... It's li- like, because... Bro, if I go to if I go to class, next to myself, I walk into class, and they're like, aliens can no longer disguise themselves, and everybody, like, there's mad aliens. And so like, damn, you was an alien this whole time? That's what I'm saying. We're not going to be scared of it. No what, what, what can I do now? I mean, you blending in pretty tough, my boy. That's what I'm saying. You like, they like, be they be <laughs> hella celebrities that be saying. Like, I was watching an interview with Chris Brown, and nigga was talking about he an alien. You know... I'm like, nah, but like, just, see, we think it's funny. Drugs. Nah. We think it's funny, bro, but what if he's nah, dead you know, serious? You know who I really think is an alien, or like a robot or something? Who? Um, not Steve Jobs. Elon Musk? No, no, not him. The other one. Bezos? I was about to say Zimmerman. Um, Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg. He, 100%. Yeah, he's something. I didn't yeah. even say that. Everybody's seen his videos. I don't think he blinked. Bro, I think he was one of the first aliens implemented here. Mm-hmm. The first, or the first robots made to be human-like. Yeah. And he just be, like, he's not as fluent yet. Or at all because he's programmed already. He put out there. Yeah. Do you see him? He be glitching. Like he be yeah, talking. He be like, "I am not a robot." I know you've seen the videos. Ha 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 ha. I like, feel like what, I feel like bro? he, like, he, he might be the, he might be the first like if he's a robot he might be like the first like AI functioning robot like. No, that's what I'm saying. I think I think he is. I think it, 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 he was like and plus he's in a position of power so like like he has so much money like mm-hmm. normal people would not be around him to press. I don't know. Like, bro. if it was you, I'd be like, yeah, that nigga Darius is weird. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not, you feel me? But, like, you just see him, like, see how well the community, like, like messes with him. When he mm-hmm. goes home, he just shuts down and it recharges. Probably. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's I think Elon Musk is too low key. Nah, Elon Musk, he got too much personality for me. I think he might be an alien or something. I think he's just weird. Ah. Uh, <laughs> see? The fact that I think he's just weird, like, like you never know. There bro. Were, and think about it. There were never people like this. Back in the six, like who do you know in the, back in the sixties, seven, whatever, back in the day that would talk like Elon Musk, like just be like socially awkward like Elon Musk yeah. or like Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg, all these people. Like who do you, who back then was like them? Everybody else was like socially tolerant, like they were able to like, carry themselves without. These niggas glitching. look like they freaking. They yeah, they, were, be, they just they're just born just yesterday. They be folding. <laughs> <laughs> they be folding under the pressure, bro. Like, and no, they so saying. high in power. They talk like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Isn't what I'm saying. In their public speaking classes. That's I don't what I'm know, saying. Bro. Back in the 60s, 70s, nobody did that. Like, I don't know, bro. But oh, we we go with one of your topics you were talking about. Yeah, oh, bro. I, that shit. I was thinking about it one day. I was like, yo, so that could happen, bro. You want to? Um, nah, I got you right here. Alright, all right, I need to know. There's superpowers. There's a superpower one, right? Okay. So there's two superpowers. Yeah. One is called checkpoint, and one is called quick save. So you have to pick one. Which one would you rather have? Checkpoint is 
you can save a, a spot, right? Uh-huh. Like, it's literally like... Like in a video game. Like a video game. So, like, you can make one of your checkpoints your crib, like your yeah. bed, right? So, whenever you're in danger, you can go back to that checkpoint. Okay. And you only have two. But, when you change a checkpoint, so say you make this your checkpoint, your crib, yeah, and then say, like, you know, you're in, your body in a car crash, checkpoint, feel me? You yeah. go back, and you go back to your crib, uh-huh. and then the next day, you change your checkpoint from your crib to, like, the dome. Yeah. You can never make your crib a checkpoint again. Oh, ever again. So you can wherever you saved before, wherever your checkpoint was before, you cannot go back to that spot. But you okay. can have two, so you can ha- keep one here and then rotate another one, whatever. However you want to do oh, it. Oh, so I can have like one in my. Oh yeah, I can have one yeah. in my crib and everything else could just. Yeah, you can rotate, back. but like, once you once you pick a spot and leave that spot, it never goes back. Okay. Now the other one is quick save, right? Now quick save is like items. You can quick save up to four items, uh-huh. but you have to be able to carry it. Okay. Right? So it can be like, feel me, if you awk as hell, <laughs> it could really be like some, like you feel, it could be like a sledgehammer. Yeah. It could be your phone. Mm-hmm. It could be a desk. You know what I'm saying? And TV, like I would always have, always have it on me. So you just activate your power and like, feel me, it just appears in your hand. Like you feel me? But you got to be able to carry it. And it's only four of them. Only four items. Ever. I can't change them. You can, no, no, you can change, you can change, you can change two of them. Two of them are permanent. But again, like checkpoint. Okay. Then, like the items oh, that you, if I, yeah. Okay. Okay. If you if you take off a quick save, you can never go back to that one. Okay. Two of them are permanent though. Which 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 power are you gonna choose? And then what? Are you I gonna think do? I'm gonna do I'm gonna do checkpoint. You're gonna do checkpoint? Cause like what? I like teleportation. <laughs> it does feel like teleportation. Yeah, I would that. Yeah. You I would know. just like do what you said. Just have one checkpoint at my crib and just leave that there and mm-hmm. just have random checkpoints around. Like I just like, oh, I do hella vacations. Like so I have a checkpoint and like. Damn, like, you don't have to fly no more. Don't gotta fly nowhere. You can can't... checkpoint back to the crib. Yeah, it just continues to just. But you can't bring items with you. Oh, I can't bring items with so, me. So like, just your clothes. Oh shit! So I can't bring people with me. Nah. Oh damn! It's like Jay is not teleporting with oh, you back. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> That's what I was thinking. If y'all, about niggas, <laughs> if y'all in Cancun having a blast, be like, oh, I'll catch you at the crib. <laughs> like, oh, she gotta fly back by herself, bro. Oh, damn. <laughs> and it's not you can't like, all right, for me to loophole be like, oh, I just bring my my laptop checkpoint with me everywhere. Nah. Whatever's in your hand, you just it's just your clothes. You just you wow, go right just back. Drop. Uh, it, it, go, it drops on the floor. I think I'm gonna still do checkpoint. You still gonna do checkpoint? Cause like I don't know what I would do for a quick save. Like I don't know what I would just like continuously like. What are you gonna put bring up? I know you doing quick save, bro. Quick save. I'm definitely doing quick save. I know. What are you? What are you gonna? I'm not. What? Gonna, I'm not gonna lie. The first thing it might take up two slots. Whatever. That backpack. First need that. Need that. That backpack. You feel me? When are we yeah. gonna use that backpack? Bro, I don't, want, t- I don't want it to they happen. COVID going away, so it's kind of blowing me. But monkey, spot, monkey pox got another one. <laughs> oh, fucking God. <laughs> no, but I, like, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do my phone. Okay. That's going to be a permanent one. Okay. Then I'm going to do my phone, my, my backpack, and then those two are my permanent ones. And okay. then the two ones that can rotate. It's probably gonna be like a weapon of some sorts, cause like, <laughs> so like basically my slingshot wouldn't count, cause that's outside the back. It's attached to it, yeah, so it yeah, wouldn't so count. It's not. But for me, I would probably do probably a bow and arrow, like a bow. I can make arrows for me, <laughs> or a crossbow. <laughs> so this is just for the zombie apocalypse. This is just not well, for life. Nah, this is like people run it like, I'm like, we better beat your ass, nigga. You say you want to kill all the gangs. Feel me? <laughs> you don't pull out the crossbow. What's up now? Feel me? Now I can shoot niggas. Like, I mean, I'll get one nigga and then probably, feel me? Like, run away? <laughs> Maybe a... Nah, not a gun. A gun is OD. I don't want to kill nobody. And then probably, like, a Bev or Eats. You're just going to keep rotating Eats? Eats, yeah. Like, uh, that's kinda, uh, that's kinda, But then I can never do Dario's again. Dude. I know. Dang, that's kind of tough. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, like, something like that, like... I'll never die. If anything, I have Daros in like the permanent spot. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh, not gonna lie. is that good, you're bro. Okay, okay. All my Jersey heads, bro. <laughs> He's a Pull up to Newark. What's the, um, what's, the Damn. what's the avenue? Is it? It's not University. It's off of Halsey, bro. Off of Halsey Street in Newark, bro. Dario's restaurant is the best food you will eat in your Watch goddamn it. life. I'm not gonna lie. Bro, I brought my 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 cousin came here from Trinidad. You brought him here? He came here and I brought him to Newark and I brought. <laughs> Newark. I picked up from Newark. I mean, uh, airport. Airport, and then we like was on campus for a little bit. We got food. And I had to do something there, and then I took him to the mall, Treasure Gardens. Yeah, he had. Dar- That's a bad experience. Why would yeah, you take yeah, him there? I don't know. <laughs> Bring him to downtown Newark is crazy. And but, Jersey Gardens. Yeah, Jer- yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. He go back. We went to Jersey Gardens. We went to Menlo. Okay, Menlo was bad. way better. Yeah, way, way better. better. He is so happy, but um, 
he saw he was like Dario's. He said, uh, "We going out to eat." He's looking around like, feel me like Dario's doesn't look like a fine establishment. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the food is busting. Like, it's great, I walk in and then he over here dapping me up and cooking the food at the same time. So he over here looking. Yeah, because look at you like what the fuck. He's like, damn, like and for me, he's a there's a trend that like trend that low key like baby third world country. Yeah, like, yeah. In some parts, you feel me? Yeah. So, but he's like, all right, whatever. He we sat down and ate the food in there. He was he loved that. He was like, great. I told you, bro. Accent. He was going stupid. I'm letting y'all know, bro. That's great eats, bro. Yeah, Tex Mex food. Shit, yeah, I seen a video of like, I guess it was like a a, a Haitian dude. It was like a he brought his cousins from Haiti oh, over, yeah. and they they he brought them to Chick Fil A for the first time. They were so happy. <laughs> they was like, oh my god, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that should have me crying, Yo, bro. This is something like, this is gonna sound crazy. Oh my god. But is it just me? Can you always tell when somebody's a foreigner? Yeah. Like, without them saying a word, they're just looking at you. Oh, yeah. They can be dressed like you and all that. You yeah. You can just tell in the face. You can tell in the face. Because to me, every foreigner, when they come here, has red eyes. Like, their eyes be That's red. That's a fact. I you, their like, eyes be red as fuck. I don't know what it is. I think... Like, I know what you're talking about. They do. Their eyes do be red. And then, like, it's just... Even if they have a shape up, there's just something about... Because, like, my cousin, he's a doctor. Right? Uh-huh. And, like, he's a doctor. He has he gets British. So, he has hell of shit. But, like, I saw him, like, you foreign as hell, boy. Like, like, I just, can just tell. You like, just look. You I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I don't know what it is, but you can just tell you got you a foreigner, but you're not from here. Like you, like you can tell. With, I can mostly tell like with the clothes and like the kids, yeah. like, oh, like, with, like, like the kids at camp, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah. If they're wearing like, um, like it just depends. Like depends on the type of shorts. It's nah. It's if like they're wearing this, plaid. This they is the, wearing hella plaid. This is the fit. It's a collared shirt. Oh my god! Yeah, collared. They shirt. always have, wear. Yeah. We yo, me and Tyrone, we you know we play basketball, so we be running the basketball camp. Yeah. The kids, one kid had a, he had a collared shirt. I don't know if he had cargo cargo shorts. He might have had yeah. cargo shorts. Yeah, like, cargos, you know, cargos. I know you're talking about. Yeah, cargos. He had cargos on. Bro. I saw the cargo pocket. Hey, man. Yeah, bro. Hey, hey respect it, though. You know what's crazy? My cousin, like, so he's like, yo, we about to go shop. Feel me? Like, we're not high school so, no more. So, like, yeah. I guess a lot is kind of. Oh, he he went right there? Yo, I brought him to. First, I brought him to PacSun. Then I brought him to Forever 21. And then I was like, we'll stop at H&M. Is he and still like, here in the states? Nah, he went back. Okay. And I'm I'm bringing him around. He's like, mm, I ain't find nothing I like. I'm like, I'm like, for me, you don't find something every time you go in there. That's yeah, like yeah, different yeah. spots. Uh huh. And then, and then what's I brought him to Zoomies, and then he was like, nah. And then we're walking. I'm like, I will right, we'll go to the next mall. And then we're walking past the Gasolaz. He's like, hey boy, let's look in this place right here. I'm like, no way. I'm like, I ain't gonna lie. That's that's a perfect foreigner store. Though. But that's yo. That's they drip. He, he went. Crazy. He bought hella stuff from. He went crazy. He bought like four fits. See, you yeah. know why I think, bro? I think fashion is like it's di- fashion is of course different in each yeah, area. Yeah, it's a region. But thing, I feel like right. there's some places where the fashion is just behind than us. Yeah. For yeah. example, yeah, I just say, I just think bro. South Jersey, like the the fits is like yeah, a, a little, like two years behind us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, the South Jersey niggas. Yeah, like, like people in foreign countries, they like the you know the little Versace shit. Even like shit. yo, in like in LA, right? Yeah. So like I have cousins in LA, and like I think it was like two years ago, or whatever. Like they're now wearing like fitteds and like you know big tees. Yeah, yeah, big. T- oh really? Like yeah, I thought LA be doing that. And like they still be doing, bu- they still be kind of doing that, but like it's like in a way like we were wearing footage before. Cause I remember my brother like when my brother was here, yeah. he has mad footage, and I remember it was at the time over here where niggas were like. You gotta have a snapback, a fit in his ass. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. But you feel me now? Niggas wearing fitteds, and then some people don't. It's like kind of like a a circular thing. But then in LA, like it, like I feel like their style never changed. Yeah, I know what like, you mean. Back then they wore this, and they're still wearing it now. I think so. And too. still be looking fly. Yeah, like, yeah. But I'm saying they don't change like that. But then as in Jersey, like tri-state area in general, mm-hmm. like it just it's like a whole. It's rotation. a cycle. Yeah, it's a I don't cycle think I don't think we're in brims like fitteds right now. I think we're out of the nah, fitteds. Fitteds are out. Yeah, I, I, I mean, think we're in like the 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 trucker yeah. hat stage. Yeah, Kenny got like seven of them. Hoes. I think it's right. a you truck, ain't lying. Yeah, I think it's a trucker hats, hats fades. Trucker hats. Remember, trucker hats were around like sophomore year too. Because mm-hmm. like taste on my dad's. Yeah, I remember. Remember, dad hats was a thing. Dad, I have, I have mad dad hats. Dad hats. Was now a I thing. don't want to wear them though. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's not, it's not it no more, bro. Yeah, like I remember I was wearing it in the crib and I was like, <laughs> like it's, it's just not, it's just it's not. not I don't it, know. It I just bought bad dad. Yeah, exactly. it just looks. You know, it's ass. Yo, Loki, I kind of called like the fashion in my head one year. Yo, you were nice. <laughs> no, because I was like, yo, I could see like the. I'd be trying to like guess the next fashion trend, and like one year I was like, yo, the next fashion trend is niggas gonna be wearing baggy shirts and short short shorts. He's a baggy, yeah, ba- oh. like like big tees and short yeah. shorts. And I'm like, so I see niggas wear. I'm so like, what the hell? Yeah, I'm like, damn, yeah, I should have yeah. said that shit out loud, bro. I'm like, yeah, damn. Yeah. I, so much of that should be happening. You'd be like, 
I called it, but y'all just ain't hear me. That's what I'm like, saying. They never believe me. I'm like, fuck. No, club. Di- you know, all right. You got to be a Jersey head to really like recognize this. But you know, club dance, a Jersey club. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I was like, bro. I already know what dance. Like, I could tell the evolution of dance moves, right? Yeah. You know, everybody is like the one legged back. They're just doing yeah. it, right? They got the same leg back. Remember when niggas like thought it was so crazy that you switch your leg? Yeah. For me, like you got the right <laughs> leg forward and you switch the left leg forward. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, what the hell? I remember I called it. I was in high school. I was like. I was like, I'm like, bro, watch niggas about to start switching legs, right? And I tried to put Tay on. I'm like, bro, this shit would be fire. And he was like, get the fuck out of here. No cap. Two weeks later, some nigga did it in a video in a dance battle. And wow. everybody was like, yo, he went crazy. I don't even know how you could think of something like that. I'm like, bro, I literally said that shit. Like, <laughs> Do you think that shit corny now? That's so, you're a mad child. You're a five-year-old. Like, <laughs> Low-key, if you're in high school, like, bro, it's so bad. Like, bro. like say somebody... But, like, okay, I could understand in a sense where, like... Because, like, that's some people's passion. I mean, if dancing. you're dancing... Yeah, but, like, it's the it's the way they be doing it. So, like, if you're dancing at, like, events and shit... Like, because yeah. you feel me, music? No yeah. problem with that. That's not childish. But what if they go to dance battles but, in, like, 25? But if you're meeting up at Union High School parking lot... To dance battle? And you're battle? putting your phone up on the, on the fence... Okay, and you're yeah. dancing just yeah. by your car and then... Posting the video. Yeah, on that's, weird. that's weird. Like, that's weird. All right, what if weird. somebody go to like a dance battle? You talking about like Link Up Tuesday? Like Link Up Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna it's lie. It's corny bro. as hell. I ain't gonna lie. That is so weird. Like, I can't sit there and like, bro, watch that. You know, before it used to be about like dancing, like they used, to, but now they're trying to do like, uh, they're trying to put stories behind their dance moves. They be like, they be like, pe- try to peep everything. I don't know yeah, what the hell you they doing. Trying to lock in, like, like it's like it's like they're going from bar for bar. <laughs> yeah, like they think I'm they like, rap it, bro. But like bro, they're trying to, weird. they're trying to dance a story, like it's like chore- choreographed. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Like, I'm like, but like that's what I'm saying. Like I'm just saying, the Jersey club dance is getting real childish. Yeah, <laughs> like like it's getting real childish. Like regular dancing, that's not like if you whatever go to a studio and dance or whatever. Oh that's, yeah, that's fine. That's, that's okay. cool as hell. That's fine. I wish I could dance. Yeah, but Jersey, like I'm not gonna lie. If you go to if I go to a club, a club, and I see you like Jersey club dance, like one leg get back, ah, you really? gotta bust out a move, not Jersey club dance. To see, me, I, I, see, I, I rather you. I rather that than them go to out their way to a park. Yeah, with with uh, caution tape around. Then we go to Conan. Then we go to Conan in Hillside. I, I, like, I judge what? people that go there. Watch. They be like, "Yo, let's go to." Bro, I was know. driving past Hillside and I see the tape out in there. Everybody's in a crowd. I'm like, "What?" I judge. I stop because I think they're getting ready to hoop because Conan used to be jumping. Yeah, yeah. And then I just see, like, I see somebody over there with a camera, like, recording, and they're like, hey, hey, hey. I'm like, yo, get bro, the hell out of here. It's bad. I ain't gonna lie. It makes me cringe. Yeah, that shit is, this shit is super weird, <sighs> It makes bro. me cringe, bro. That shit is super weird, bro. I don't know. I just think, like, I just, I don't want to judge people. I understand. This is, you like doing this. But when is it gonna stop? Yo. <laughs> like, when, what is yeah, the age where you, you say, I, I'm yeah. not, I'm done? Because some people be, like, 35, be 30 doing this I'm shit. Not, but, like. Calling call niggas old head. That's an old head right there. Old, old head versus... Old head going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> old head going crazy. That's... I don't know, bro. I can't. I hey, can't bro. Say. They be trying... They chasing their dreams like we did when we was hooping, but bro. But you can't... The difference <laughs> is you can't really make money off of that. Like, you feel me? Like, you could... Everybody chase their dreams. Like, that's why I said. Like, normal... Like, dancing, any type of choreography, whatever you want to do. Yeah. You can make money off of that. Mm-hmm. Or, like, a living off of that. Mm-hmm. Club... Jersey club dancing, you're not making a living. I don't think so. And the difference, too, like, you know how they be... What do they call it in Philly? They be trying to... Rock, shake it. Shake it. They be shit, saying... Yeah. yeah, like, that shit is funny. You could bust that move out out of nowhere. I ain't gonna lie. But they don't nigga. link up to do that, though. Yeah, they don't link up to do that. Yeah, that's weird as hell. But, like, they just do that just... <laughs> yeah, you feel me? The song come on, they start tweeting. That's all, but they, they make it music. Yeah. They, they, they got that's the TikTok. That's what I'm saying, yeah. I say so that's, that's, that's fine. That's acceptable. They got Drake flying them out. I ain't gonna lie. They, they in Drake music video. I ain't gonna no Philly up right now. I ain't gonna lie, Philly up. That's, when is Jersey gonna be up? I don't think we're gonna had ride points, bro. That's hey, bro. so bro. Jersey had club music for so long. He gonna beef ride them. I know. Literally, didn't Drake made a club like a, a song? His whole, like, al- his whole album. No, not this album. It was like uh, before. It was like yeah, him, he had, he had him like DJ some, Khaled. DJ yeah, he had some made Jersey beat. A J- Jersey beat on he it. He didn't bring no team little like, man niggas. Bro, what's up? Like, get my Irving to. I ain't gonna lie. The, the Philly goat niggas is way above the yeah, wherever yeah, team little man niggas. Yeah, they do. Yeah, C four all of man. Team little man, them niggas still be in the clubs. Freaking, they don't even got clout no more. They still be in the club. I remember C four came to Union, right? South Beach. Oh, really? And it was just like Jose came and he's like, "Yo, DJ C four is here." Huh? Oh shit! He was they niggas was the shit. Saw him, he was like acting like he had clout, but nobody gave him the clout. Hey, hey but I understand. I, I ain't gonna judge. To me, I ain't gonna judge. I just want to get down with my chest, bro. Yeah. But um, all right. So I got a question, right? So which one of these would you rather give up? Your ability to read, your ability to like remember, or both of your hands? Oh my god! 
ability to remember would be so ass. <laughs> that's like my best quality. Like, <laughs> Which like is remembering like everything. Only, that's my only good quality like, that I remember like to do things for like people around me. That's it. <laughs> remember? To be, so ability to remember. What was the second one? Uh, your ability to read. Or both your hands. Yeah, reading. I need to be able to read. Right? That's cool. You really can't. If you don't know how to read, that's like basically you just like dumb. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like imagine just Maybe. looking. Maybe. Imagine looking at this book and just not knowing what this says. Being clueless. <laughs> yeah. Like you know when I be sending the Japanese. Shit? Yes. Yeah. When you see Japanese, like how before how you look at Japanese exactly how now I understand Japanese. Yeah. I see it and I'm like, oh, that means this. But now, but if you never like, know, like if you just looked at some German words, these are like pictures. Yeah. Just look at like <laughs> look, look at the thing on the front. The, yeah. the gonga thing? Yeah. This is literally how I'm be looking at yeah, life. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> nah, I can't do that. Both of my hands is so crazy. <laughs> I was gonna say one, but I'm like, like nah, if yeah. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's just, <laughs> you just straight like, like They're arms. gone? Like nubs? I got yeah, nubs. Yeah, you got nubs. I think I, I'm gonna have to lose Bro, both my hands. I'm not gonna lie. Put a hook on it. I can't survive the apocalypse with no hands. <laughs> Oh, I seen people. I seen people with no hands like live life. So I think I'm gonna do that. I mean, yeah, but like I seen them play. Remember? Video games. Oh my gosh! Bro, you need to be able to remember. You just literally forget everything. So I'm like ultra dyslexic. Like I don't like. I'm yeah, just... yeah, freaking dis- dementia on a thousand. So I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna forget who my mom is. Yeah, <laughs> tweaking, 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 tweaking. Yeah, and I definitely I can't even do that. You just like a walking, walking life. <laughs> just don't know. <laughs> like every day, every day you go to sleep, you just wake up that remember. You're shit. done. You just walking. Like... You just don't know where you, you wake up. Where? <laughs> You wake up, you wake up, open up. What? Oh, <laughs> like you got dementia on a thousand, yo. Damn, nah, that's what the yeah, I can't do that one. Yeah, that I think your hands. Damn, what type of punishment is this? That's bro? bad. I'd rather die. I ain't going. <laughs> I'm not going to wait, bro. I can't do that. That's crazy, man. That's a bad life. Like, well, no hit. Like, I just. Go around, move shit. I put hooks. I'm put, oh, it cuts off my elbow. No, no, no. Cut, like I can move shit with my chin though. I gotta go like this. Wait, so I have no arm? No, no, you still got an arm. You just got no hands. Oh, just no. But I'm just saying, like, how? I'm putting old? a hook. Like, how? A, what the fuck? Be what a you? pirate, bro. What? I would be a pirate, bro. <laughs> the fuck you gonna do? You gonna fight me if I have a hook on my hand? No. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a hook on that. Oh my god, bro. Yeah. Hey, bro. All now, right. I got another question for Let you. Let me hear, it, bro. All right. What is the biggest animal that you can kill? <laughs> That's a good question. And the smallest animal that could kill you? Okay, let me think about this. The biggest animal that I... Barehanded, right? Barehanded, like with nothing. You're in the like in the wild. Just okay. thrown out there. The I biggest think animal that the you biggest kill. animal, it, it got to be... Uh, I was going to say a cow, but a cow is pretty big. I don't know how... I'm, I don't think you're killing a cow. I don't know. Gonna, <laughs> I'm like, I'm thinking you about snapping his neck, but I don't think that thing got a lot you gotta of... You got to sneak it. Yeah. Nah, but I feel like your neck's strong as shit. That's what once I'm you think- grab him, he goes... Mm. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. <sighs> no, barehanded is hard. That's what I'm saying. The biggest animal. Um, uh, it gotta be a farm animal. It has to be like a <laughs> like a like a like a pig. Like a monkey. Monkey. I think I can. I mean, what kind of be... monkey? Like not a chimp. You're not killing a chimp. Like a chimp. Like, like that's me basically. No, chimps is strong as hell though. Like, Look, I'm... <laughs> I don't care if you. I don't care if you six eight. They gonna attack you, bro. <laughs> that thing gonna beat your ass. <laughs> that's just gonna beat your ass. And they have razor sharp teeth. They yes. teeth crazy. That's basically humans if we had superpowers and full of hair. Damn, we ass. I know, but we're high key ass. We can think though. No, we're like Batman. We all are Batman and they're like <laughs> Superman and shit. Like girls are Superman. Yo, so high key. Yeah. High key, we're all literally just Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Living amongst the world of superheroes that don't know how good they are. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, I let think, me think. All right. I think I think a chimp, like a little monkey. Like. Okay, how, does a fish count? Like if I just take it out of water? I mean, <laughs> if I like, if I pick up a shark, you're mid, you're mid, you're yo. This is what I was. I mean, that's as high as your confidence. <laughs> that's my confidence. Just, if your confidence goes as far as I can, just pick a fish out of its habitat and just kill it and let it die. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think you can do that. Like pick it up. I don't think you'll be able to catch a fish with your bare hands. Like you, I don't think you will be able to catch a fish with your bare hands. Uh, I don't think, think so. Think about it, because you ever went fishing before? Yeah. You ever like pick, held the fish with your hand? It's slippery. Them boys is slimy. I know. And the other side is scaly. So I don't think I'll be able to pick up like a shark. I think no, it's going to kill me before that. What? <laughs> you are dead. Yeah, you are dead. All right. All right. So my, fi- my final answer is going to have to be... <sighs> okay, wait. Why don't you say a dog? I, I don't want to kill a dog. It's going okay? to it's gonna have to be... A, I think it's a deer. It's gotta be. On it yeah, it's just gotta. I'm just gotta like break his neck or something like that. It's gonna a female deer because they got antlers. Yeah, yeah. Damn. And I'm, then I think the smallest animal that I think can, can kill, kill you will by itself one on one. Yeah, one on one. Uh, 
Uh, probably, probably a Tasmanian devil. Yo, you very, that was very specific because no, I, no, no, you're <laughs> That was very specific, but like I think that's the only thing. You just said a, a Looney Tune game. <laughs> you're probably a Tasmanian devil from South Africa. <laughs> like you just tweaked. <laughs> you just tweaked. A ta- what is it? No, I gotta look at what a Tasmanian. It's is. like a, it's like a raccoon, but it's like very vicious and shit. Tasmanian. How about a piranha? Nah, a single piranha can't kill me. I ain't gonna lie. Do they spin? What? What? Tasmanian devil? No, they don't spin. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. A Tasmanian devil is not killing me, bro. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, they have tumors. Yeah. They have mad cancer. Like <laughs> Tasmanian devils are like known for having cancer. That's what I'm saying. They're not killing me. What? You think that's just killing you? Oh, that's killing you. Oh, uh, you <laughs> know. All right. I guess. Okay, wait. Hold pussy. on. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I guess. Cool. All right. How about a hawk? A hawk not killing me. Never mind. A, a hawk will swoop down with his talent. It's gonna get some licks on me. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. But he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. All right, I gotta think of one. I gotta think of one. A um, Tasmanian. You could stomp that hoe. I know, but like smallest. Right, how, about, how about a honey badger? Honey badgers are pretty vicious. I don't think it's killing me. I think it would tear me up. I don't think anything that is not at least like Corey's dog's height. Is <laughs> but you like six eight. You're taller than the average human. Yeah, <laughs> but because I could stomp that hoe out. Okay, but, so what is, what are your animals? The animal biggest animal I could kill. My bare hands. Not a moose. Them boys got strong. Shoulders. I'm about to say, what the a they moose? Got strong shoulders. Bro, a moose is like twelve. Is like I think 10 I'm gonna go tall. with a seal. <laughs> nah, he might bring me into the ocean. Nah, <laughs> seals be killing niggas. No, I'm deed. No, nah, not a seal. Bro, them things are slimy like a fish. How the hell you gonna kill that thing? You know what? That thing's blubber. Might have to be an ostrich. Oh, that's a good one. But Snap like Loki, they can, they can, they can, like, like, they can kick the shit out of you. He's dead. No, fuck. I'm calling out beef. I really want to. Like, I'm telling you right now, I want to. I want to fight a kangaroo, bro. <laughs> but they be boxing. Like, that's what I'm saying. They be boxing. Claws. Nah, nah, I'm not beating a kangaroo. I, I might snap his neck. See, this is what I'm saying. I'm going as far as possible. Like, you were looking for, like, no harm done to you. <laughs> like, this animal is going to harm me, but I'm going to kill it. <laughs> like, so, yeah. I think a kangaroo, I can get him in a chokehold. He might be beat, but I'd snap his neck. You feel me? Yeah, okay. Type shit. So, yeah. what's the smallest animal that, that can kill me? Anything could kill me in my sleep, but <laughs> I don't know. I was gonna say like, what a mosquito. <laughs> that, that's the easiest way out, but like, I don't gonna mosqu- do that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't mosquito. Do that. I'm gonna think of smallest animal. Um, probably like an Akita dog. That like Corey dog. Why don't you just say a Rottweiler? I respect the Akitas more. Why? Uh, I mean, okay, I understand. Because I'm out studying Bishop, Japanese. Bro. I'm studying Japanese culture now, so that was. I actually wanted a dog like Japan. that. Akita. Mm-hmm. Yeah, huskies, huskies are okay. The huskies are nice. I used to watch this show on Animal Planet called like Dogs One Hundred One. That used to like list facts about dogs. You're fucking weird. Bro. You're <laughs> a dweeb. You're a dweeb. You're a dweeb. Yo, I like you animals. Call me a dweeb. That's bro. So... I, went, I used to watch Animal. Planet. Why did you just tell me that? <laughs> I used to watch Animal Planet. Man. You didn't watch Animal Planet? No, bro. You went to the police academy. You went to police camp. <laughs> weird ass nigga. <laughs> Who the hell goes to a camp for policemen? You was hella excited, didn't bro, you? Bro, you used to come to your home, lay in your bed and say, Ooh, what's on animal planet? <laughs> yes, bro. You told me you went to an- the police so you academy. A- <laughs> your ass had a You'd bed. have a potato bread sandwich <laughs> <laughs> like animal planet. <laughs> well, like bread and butter, I did. Nah, that's so, yeah, I that's did. mid. That's midlife stuff. Bro, but you telling me you was in a police academy as a kid. Yeah, what, what bro, was they teaching you? Lock niggas up, bro. What, 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 what did learn they learn? Learn how to be smart. <laughs> like, what the hell you learned? You was a Boy Scout. You know what it did? <laughs> you used to go in the back of Burger King. You learned how to make a Whopper. Wait, what, As Whopper? A, yeah, remember. They taught Boy Scout. Yes. Nah, they kicked me out. So I, oh, they did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it got dark over there. Oh, my gosh, bro. That was, that, was a, that was like one of the things that was selling to us. Like, when we was in school, they was like, oh, yeah, we go in, in the back of Burger King. They teach us how to make a Whopper. What oh, that, the hell? That's actually so bad average. Like nowadays, it's <laughs> horrible average. Well, Burger King, I think, is like the worst fast food chain. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I, I'm traumatized because I threw up after eating Burger King one time. Bad. And now every time I smell Burger King, I can't do it. No, no, no hate, no shame, bro. Like every time I think of Burger King, I just think of obese people. No, the only ones that like Burger King, low key. Because I feel like McDonald's is trying to be healthy now. Yeah, like they got like. But healthy. Burger King, I feel like, bro, buy this shit. I feel like everything in Burger King is just disgusting. Yeah, it's greasy. Like, I remember Benji used to tell me, like, he worked at Ber- uh, Burger King. Like, the freaking floors was just full of grease. I never walked into a, a lit Burger King. I never did either. Like, I've been into a McDonald's where it's clean, high-tech, looking cool as fuck. I know. Bur- all the Burger Kings look the same and just dirty. They're dirty and shit. Like, like I think they're the worst, bro. That and Church's Chicken. That was just me. Church's Chicken is bad. Church's Chicken, they be looking crazy. Now. But isn't it good, though? 
It's gas. It's gas. It's hype. And Bojangles. Is Bojangles good? Super gas. To me, yo, all y'all South serious? niggas be gas. Yo, oh, yeah, it's Bojangles. My aunties and uncles are like, Bojangles is the. Yo, that shit is so bland. Really? I'm fucking with Popeyes before I fuck with Bojangles, bro. Really? Bojangles is like, I their biscuits be busting. I heard, I heard their biscuits. But their chicken good. regular as hell. Wow, I didn't know that. Bojangles I thought so it was really good. good. And I had it down in uh, North Carolina. Wow. And that's where the good shit is. Next at. to a plantation. Oh, wow. Because I went there for my family reunion. Dang, like bro. They brought a black family to a black place. It, it just got dark real quick. Yeah, right. <laughs> now, low-key, Jollibee's top two fried chicken, bro. That shit better than KFC. You said what? Jollibee. You ever had Jollibee fried chicken? Jollibee? Yeah. What? In what? It's what in... It? It's a... It sounds childish. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a Filipino, like, fast food chain. It's in Jersey City, bro. I'm telling you, that's, like, the second best chicken you ever had in your life, bro. <laughs> I gotta try it now. That shit is so good. Now it's funny because like you're Filipino and you just talk about yeah. It. Filipino. <laughs> I'm not, not, like, not why biased. Would, why would I know about that? Not biased. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's kind of like a, the thing nowadays. Yeah. It's like one of the new things like arising. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try. It's that. pretty good. It's pretty I'm good. Try that. I'm gonna try that. I'm but gonna try that. all right, so I wanna I wanna talk. I'm gonna flip this side. I wanna talk about this one thing I, I seen on TikTok the other day. Mm-hmm. So like you know who Charles Manson is, bro? Um, I heard about the name. But so so he was basically like a cult leader. So like he made his own like cult and it was like with like a hundred members and it was all basically like hippies. So like mm. they took like LSD drugs and things mm. like that. And he was like they thought of him as like God. Is he the nigga who got everybody to kill himself? No, not that. That's okay. not that guy. That's somebody James something so, Jameson, something like that. Yeah. But so he had so supposedly his followers went on like a murder spree where they killed like nine people in like a span of like a couple of days in like four different locations. They just went around just killing people. And the movie I told you about, the movie The Strangers is a like was based off of one of the killings because they killed like a famous person. And like so like in the movie The Strangers, what? literally all that happened when Strangers was it was a boyfriend and a girlfriend was in the crib. Okay. And literally people just came in the house and was just trying to kill him. No reason or nothing. So it was like so like with Manson it's like those people were like brainwashed somehow to kill him. Right, so this is where it gets in gets weird. This happened in the nineteen sixties, nineteen seventies, right? And that's during the time when, like, you know, the hippies was around with like LSD, like people smoking weed, doing crack, all that stuff. So like back, so the CIA was doing like experiments on mind control with people. It's called MK Ultra, mm-hmm. and they use like LSD because you know when you take LSD, like you trip. Mm-hmm. So they use they were using that drug as a way to like control their minds, and they think that Charles Manson was a part of that. Either he was working with them, the CIA. Or he was, like, a part of it and, like, was able to figure out how to, like, do it better than them. Yeah. So, like, he was able to, like, manipulate his followers into doing this mass murder spree. I'm not going to lie. I, the fact that, I'm not going to lie. That's why I feel like all drugs are, like, started from now. Like, trying to take over niggas' minds. Mm -hmm. Like, Like you see weed and stuff? Yeah, like, you (laughs) you see weed, bro? Like, it's everywhere. (laughs) Like, weed is everywhere. You never know, bro. Like, (laughs) you said, bro, you see weed? Like, come on, bro. (laughs) Like niggas love that. Man, I'm not gonna lie, that's damn. I gotta watch that movie now. It's called Stranger Things. No, uh, the the Strangers. Did, did I just say Stranger Things? <laughs> no, I was busting, bro. No, nah, that's okay. it. Was crazy. Like literally, they were just like they killed like a famous. And they put actor. on masks too, just like that. Same way. That's crazy. Oh no, I don't think they put on masks. I think that they the movie was like inspired by. Oh okay, killer. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like they were just like no reason, no. Reason and they ever at got all. like they ever went to jail for? It? Yeah, they got. I think they all got executed. Or most of. It. I think it, it, it wasn't all of them, but it was like a couple. What about the leader? The leader, he got put in jail. And, like, they like they have videos of him. He's, like, he's nuts. Like, he's, he's, he's sound like a mad scientist. Like, he just act crazy. Like, he on LSD, literally, bro. Damn. But they think that he was part of the CIA. And the CIA had him tested on people to see, like, how much he could control them to do. And he literally controlled them to... They think he literally controlled them to, like, go out and murder people. Damn. Just imagine. Like, you could just... That's... If you could get somebody a drug and control them. Hey, bro. What are they doing that with us now with the fluoride in our water, bro? That shit good for your teeth. I heard that <laughs> shit fucks up your mind, though. Yeah, ah, damn, that's bad. I be, you know, Steve be drinking tap water. I drink, not, like, like, like faithfully? Yeah. Like, no need? He doesn't drink bottled water. He only drinks tap. <laughs> what like, the? yo, can I get your tap water? And no he, way. He, like, he, he just. Up, he has, like, a, one of them things. Little you're bottles. telling me everywhere he goes, he drinks tap water. Mm-hmm. Nah, not everywhere. Not not when he comes to Newark. You know? Okay, I'm like, what? <laughs> nah, when he comes to Newark, because Newark water. So, he's just basically just living struggle life. For, like, he fuck with it. I mean, I think tap water good for you. My dad, all he drinks is tap water. Look, he's 6'6". Six, six. I noticed what... <laughs> <laughs> Shit. He didn't drink enough. He didn't drink no milk. You know what I realized? Tap water, I don't get hydrated off tap water. 
So like when I'm at in Newark, well, I guess in Newark, but yeah. when I'm but well, we're on a different filtration system at school. When I'm at when I'm in Newark and I run out of water, I'd be drinking hella tap water. Are you serious? But then I go to practice, and my mouth be dry. <laughs> I'd be in there sweat like. Bro, I need some water ASAP. And I drink like mad water day, like two gallons type shit. <laughs> but if I get like actual water and I drink a gallon, I'm good. That's weird. Yeah. It's, it's supposed to be the same. Maybe it's just the minerals in the shit, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Maybe I'll be doing some but, shit. I don't know, bro. But I got another thing we want to talk about because I remember the, I think the last time you was on, we was doing Urban Legends. Yeah. And this shit low key jump. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas love this shit. Yeah. Like they be, <laughs> like, niggas be going under all my comments to tell me they state to do. Like, like, like pressing me OD. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, like, no cap. OD okay. press. They be like, yo, do my. Do, yo, right now. <laughs> like, yo, I, if you don't do Montana, <laughs> shit, be the random shit. shit crazy, bro. But oh, like, I hey. want West Virginia, right? <laughs> Shout out to y'all, man. If y'all want me to do y'all state, like I said, leave it down in the comments. We're going to talk about it. So today, I'm going to talk about Tennessee. I got two, but what am I going to talk about? All right, I'm going to talk about this one, right? It's, um, uh, which one do I want to talk about? It's uh, the two states. No, it's oh, Tennessee, it's but it's two different okay. legends. Huh. One of them is, all right, I'm going to talk about this one. So it's called the White Screamer, right? So in a town called White Bluff in Tennessee, there's like a legend of like a, creature that lives in the woods that's like all white and it's just like you know you ever heard like a banshee what a banshee is i heard of it now it's like it's like a freaking it's like a creature that like screeches like oh it flies yeah yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, shit yeah, yeah. so yeah. they think the people of the town think that's what it is but like in the 1920s right there was like people go in the woods and they end up going missing mm-hmm. and nobody knows why but like newcomers that go into the woods like they say the legend is like they either kill them or just like take them away and, like, I guess a family went into the woods. Like, a new family just moved to Tennessee. They lived in the woods of, like, White Bluff. And, like, they just, every night they just hear screeching, just screaming, and they can't go to sleep. Until the father got tired of it and went outside and went to go hunt for the thing. And he literally found, like, a whole bunch of them. So he ran back to the crib, and his whole family was, like, slaughtered it by the It was all thing. the white, the... Yeah. Like, he, like, I don't know how he found them. What? And he said, like... But he they, got away? He got away, but his whole family died. It's like they lured him out and just snuck his oh. family. And then, ever since then, like... Did the they pe- find any bodies or anything? They found... No, the bodies was deed up. Like, they tore, tore up, up. Their, tore up everything. And it's like, they, they just, like, protect that territory of the land. So it's like... And it's like, the, the people of the town say they hear the screeches all the time. They just... It's a small town, so it's like, they just... Ignore it. It's just like their little folklore, so they just let it be. They don't want to touch it, don't want to mess with it. Just don't go into parts of the woods, bro. I'm not going to Tennessee, bro. Actually, Jay's best friend is from Tennessee, so we might be pulling up this summer. Hey, people. All right, looks nope. like looks like we, I'm gonna be running the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> <It's dead. laughs> Yo, because that sounds crazy. I'm not gonna lie, that sounds so crazy, bro. Just imagine, imagine walking out, coming back, and niggas is dead. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And it's like a like a loud ass screech, bro. Like like screaming like like high pitched in the middle of the night every yeah, night. Jump that nigga. That's crazy. Hey. And there was another one. I, I'll talk about this one. It's yeah. called. Is it Tennessee as well? Yeah, it's in Tennessee. Yeah. It's about. It's called Skin Tom, right? So. So back, it's funny. It's, this is why I don't want this Loki Cordy. So it's like, so so there's a guy named Tom, right? A little ha- ha- no homo, no homo. Pause. Handsome fellow. He gets all the girls and things that like that. Bags all the girls, right? 1950s. Mm-hmm. He meets this one girl. I think her name is Eleanor, right? Mm-hmm. And he's trying to bag her, but he says she says that she's married. And he's like, nah, f that. Come come on, date with me. He takes her out on a date. They go to this point. I forgot what it's called. It's called um, what's the place called? They went to this little area. It's like a Something junction, little little road or shit like that. They're hanging out, and her husband finds out that she's on a date with him. And his, her husband's like a hunter. He goes out with his hunting knife, kills the wife, and before he kills Tom, he's like, "Yo, I, I'm sorry, I didn't know she had a husband." He lying his ass off. She's like, "I'm, I didn't know she was married." Lying his ass off. He skins him alive and kills him. And he's and people say like the legend is like wherever that road where he died, mm-hmm. he walks around that road like you, you see like with a, no skin, no skin, bloody with the same knife, and like he scares like couples away just like so they oh if you go there whatever. like anybody no that's why it's like he learned his lesson from cheating. And now he's fellas walking. if you want to know don't cheat <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with the don't do so that yeah don't even be involved in the don't even fall in adultery bro damn supposedly that's what happened. Damn. You get crazy in other parts of the world. Skinned? I ain't gonna lie. That would be painful. Do you think you could live like that? Nah. Can you live? I'm not biggest fears, bro. Huh? Can you live like nah, that? Nah, you'll die. You'll like die. instantly? You'll die within like a couple hours. Damn, so it's like a slow death. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a minute. Doesn't you get matter. hella diseases. 
Your skin protects you from so much shit, bro. Yeah, like infections. Yeah, f- infections. Your your blood. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, but gonna... like you won't bleed out. That's not the problem. The problem is like you're so sensitive to everything. Yeah. Your nerves would o- like over overwhelm you. Uh huh. Because like just breeze. You 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 remember like you ever fell on your knee? You see the white meat? Yeah. Feel me? The breeze would make its thing. Mm-hmm. Like everything's gonna be like hurt you. And wow. You'll go to shock, and then you like. That's freaking ass. Yeah, it's me. Especially walking. What? The bottom of your feet is skinned? Oh. He probably just, just laying there, just hurt. Yeah. Oh, that would hurt. You'd have to stand. But you have to jump. You, but can't, he can't, he you can't, can't rest. Think about that. But can he, Can you move if like, you got no skin on your body? You you can move, but that, that would hurt. That should probably hurt. That would hurt, because I like, think your skin... Nah, I'm just going to lay You down. can't even lay down. You can't lay down. Would but you rather like, Would you rather like, stand on two feet and only have pain there or lay down on your back and now your whole back is... But it's like, how am I going to... It's going to hurt to get up. <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> like, nigga, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to kill myself. I think I'm just good. Yeah, I'm just good. Nah, bro. Nah, that's so deep. But you got anything else you want to talk about? I do. I have one good one, right? So, <clears throat> this, oh, this is my last one, too. What is it? So, you know about, like, eugenics? What's that? So, like, basically... Is that being, skincare? Nah. <laughs> this is like eugenic skincare. Nah, it's like, uh, like being able to pick your own... Like sperm donor type thing. Yeah. So say yeah. you wanted to have yeah, like say a woman wanted to have a baby but she wanted to get sperm sperm donor going picking it, right? Yeah. So wait, 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 wait. Before I sound crazy. Were you looking it up? To increase occurrence of variable characteristics. Oh uh, yeah. Cause I had the title there as eugenics, but I want to make sure I was talking about what eugenics was. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, you could cut that out. But uh, by Nazis, because I not I see Nazis here, so let me <laughs> Is it eugenics, basically? Basically, like, basically, you know how the Nazis tried to make everybody turn like everybody blonde hair, blue eyes. Yeah. So that that type of study, like study studying that and working on that, is it eugenics to basically have a woman be able to be able to pick their own sperm? So to make it look a certain way. Yeah. So like, I don't know if you ever like heard or like know about it, but like when somebody goes to like select sperm, like. Whoever like donates a sperm, they have to fill up mad sheets and like about themselves, mm-hmm. right? And so basically, say I donate sperm, they'll be like, "Oh, this is six eight black man from." So you telling America. me? So they oh, can choose. Like I want to do an crazy. athlete. Where you're flipping through the catalog, so think about it. No then, way, this is a thing. No, this is. Are you bro, dead ass? Yeah, bro. You go to sperm, like, like, and you pick what, and it, and it has the history. Like, all right, well, this person doesn't have their name though. Yeah. But, like this person had this. Like, had, so you uh, telling me a woman. Be like six two. She can't find a man. She can just go to a sperm donor yeah, and just find a six eight dude. Yeah. And then and they have now she's a millionaire with a six eight kid. I mean, a, he got to be nice though. But he could be, <laughs> he automatically might be over six two. Yeah, it was definitely over six two. His mom six two. What? How much is that? How much is it to go? That, get, that shit must I be. Don't know. Like, I That gotta be breach, bro, nigga. Like, what the hell? That's like an instant, like <laughs> that's instant cheese, my nigga. That's like so customization much. to the max. Yeah, that's what I'm. So is it basically like? How the Nazis were trying to like force a certain thing, is it the same? I don't think it's that much. It's it's a, in the same ballpark, but it's yeah, not it's kinda, to that extent. The Nazis were literally changing were, people, yeah. giving them shots to make sure their eyes turn blue. But now, what if every woman was like, you know, what I'm saying like, no, we're gonna have a kid, but I want. Her to be this. That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. I ain't gonna lie. That's weird as fuck. I don't want her to look like you. Like 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 they want like she want her kid to look like like light skin like little cute kid, but like she got she made like a, a dark skin nigga. Yeah yeah yeah. Dark exactly. skin fugly looking nigga with bad features. <laughs> Like, <laughs> but he's six eight though. Yeah, he's six, like he got like he little he little fugly looking, but he got good personality. So she married him, but he's like, yeah, I don't want my baby to look like. Who's yeah, that shit? It says that's affordable bad. fertility clinic. That's bad. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't think that's how it worked. I thought you just you just pick a sample. Three hundred dollars. No way. I ain't gonna lie. It that's costs three hundred to a thousand dollars without insurance. A few states have law health insurance. Yeah, that's, that's what it says. bad. I ain't but gonna lie. That's, that's, that's kind of crazy. To me, I think that's kind of crazy that you can pick. You get it, get a choice. Like, ah, this guy's. Yeah, I want this guy. <laughs> hey, bro. But, yeah, but bro. oh, I got, I got one more thing I want to talk about, bro. I forgot to talk about this earlier. So I was watching J. Simmons' video. They said you never, you ever heard the company of CERN? No. It's like a, it's like Is a that com- acronym. Nah, it's like a. It's that's like the name. It's like they uh-huh. deal with like quantum physics and shit like that. Oh shit. No. So like they make, they make like the high end shit. Okay. So so supposedly they have a machine and they're turning it on on July fifth, and like. The last time they turned on a machine like that was in 2012, and they think that's why. Like they, everybody thinks that they they what turned on their machine and that's why we had the Mandela effect and they jumped us to like another timeline. What does the machine do? I don't know. They said, "Oh, we're turning it on." Like it might be like it might be like a portal. It might be some new shit they're making. But they think they're saying like they were saying like 
you have to. They said some lady, the, the girl sounded crazy. Twenty twelve was, like, was a great year though. It was a great year. When what, what date was it in the summer they turned it on? I think it was in the winter time when they said the world's gonna end. It's mid. And like they think, you know what? They jumped into another timeline. Because think about it. 2013 was mid, 14 was mid, 16 was buzzing. Yeah. 17, 18. Yeah, life has not been as great as back then. This might It might turn up. That's what I'm saying. Flip, if they, turn if up. they flip, they might... Or it might go downhill. I don't know, bro. If the life go down. But they said, they said stay away from alcohol the fifth, be positive or some shit. Like, I don't know. Yo, I'm telling you right now. I leave to go to Cancun. <laughs> and 24 hours from right now, I'm going to be super drunk. <laughs> like getting ready to go to Cancun. Like Who are you going my, to Cancun with? I'm going with uh, Jose. Oh yeah, Jose, oh yeah, ba- vacation, bro. Yeah, <laughs> Tyrone going. Yeah, was just him yo, and Jose. why are you just? <laughs> I just beat what you say. <laughs> you going to vacation? Yo, I'm going with like all my family, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. He said vacation, nah. But what's the name? Um, if not, no alcohol. There's no way I'm not because I'm gonna be there until the seventh. Oh really? So there's no way I'm. So not you're going there for drunk. the fourth? Yeah, I'm gonna be there the whole time. Yeah, it's uh, aunt his. His cousin's birthday. Okay. And the whole time. And I'm not going to lie to you, bro. On the 5th, there's no way I'm not drunk. I think I'm going to be on a boat. They said something that, like if you're drunk or like have negative energy, you're going to like be left in the, the old timeline. Oh, that's going to be bussing. <laughs> no, I'm, like basically, look, look. <laughs> when I'm drunk, I'm lit. I'm happy as shit. You feel me? Oh. So I'm going to be lit. I'm going to be partying and shit. And it's going to switch. And I'm going to be turning up even more. But like, so what the if, rest of my life going to be turned up. But what if you switch? What if, like, they said something like, is that. Being drunk and like that is like negative. So they're going to leave you in this timeline. I'm going to be in the next timeline. I won't drink that. Say no, damn, that's OD. I don't know. It sounds kind of crazy. Niggas was like, bro, I'm still going to be drinking my life away. (laughs) Oh, that's bad. (laughs) Niggas is crazy. If you drink it for a negative reason. Nah, that's OD. I want to know about the machine. I'm about to go look it up. Yeah, look at look up CERN, bro. They, it's, it's really. I was talking about it the other day. Like CERN, they low key got something playing, bro. I ain't gonna lie. They just they said they're turning on their machine. That's turn on a machine. Like some, I guess I don't know if it's a portal, black hole, some shit. Turn on a machine. Don't and know what that. That's it. Just yeah, turn on bro. a machine. Let's. If shit, if shit look crazy on the fifth, y'all know why, bro. And that's the first day of camp too. That it? Oh my camp, my day camp. Wait, wait. Is that week one? Yeah, it's week one. No, it's not. You're yes, locked. it is. Lock put me on week one. Are you serious? I thought it was week two. Oh, you dumb. No, 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 no. Week one starts the 11th. No, it's not. No, week one starts the 11th, bro. Week one starts the 11th. How, no, it's not. That's what he told me, bro. Let no. me see. No, 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 no. Are you sure you're not week two? No, no, he put me. He said, can you work week one? I said, when does it start? I'm not going to be here until the 7th. He said, first week is July 11th to July 15th. So you are unemployed. Well, you have the dome. Oh, un- oh, maybe because... Maybe because usually it's always after the 4th of July. It usually is, but, but maybe it started Tuesday. He wants his motion breach. Yeah, his yeah, I know what you mean. There's yeah. not even a lot of kids, bro. There's only like 80 niggas. He got more people in. That's why he asked me to come in. Okay. My, my uh, god brother might be joining it, so. I try to have Jay's... Um, he a little dweeb, though. Hey. I try to have Jay's uh, brother's girlfriend's son. Like, Jordan, but it was... it was That's just expensive. I ain't gonna lie. Get it? Yeah, no, oh, if you tell Locke, he'll cut you a deal. I, I, I told him. Oh, what'd he say? He okay. just sent me the brochure. That shit's still breached, bro. How much was yours? Uh, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that, yo, it's because I'm not a player no more? He told me 100. 100? Is it? For the week. I think, I don't know how much. I think she said hers is like 120. 120? 120 is not a lot for the week? I don't you said, know. You thought that was a lot of money? Maybe maybe he didn't. He gave me the wrong brochure. No, nah, I didn't get a brochure. He just said, I, he said, just give me 100. Oh, yeah, nah. He didn't tell me that. He gave like, me I a whole, he gave I me a whole said, brochure. I said, how much is it? I said, because he's 14 or he's 13. And, she, and he was like, he said, just tell him bring $100 and he's good for the week. Because uh, it's, it's definitely more, I think it's definitely like 500 500 for what, a week? Bro, this is daycare. You know, It's definitely rate. not a week. Yeah, for the week, it's definitely at least five, at least 500 What the? Bro, this is daycare, nigga. This that's is, how much we get paid? That's why we get paid a good amount of money. Yeah, I don't care if say it was 100 it. we wouldn't, yeah, that's what I said, yeah. I know, we wouldn't even I, Do you know how much we're getting paid this year? I can tell you, okay, I can't say that. Ah, <laughs> but it's good money. It's good money. <laughs> I, say but I think that's all I got, my brother. Oh, wow. Thank you yeah. again. Good luck that's in it. Cancun. Don't oh, hurt yeah. yourself. Stay away from the some of the alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go. Uh, steer away from the thrift all shops. All inclusive. Oh, oh, it's a resort. Yes, sir. And Abe's down there right now. He didn't answer me though. Are you serious? Yeah, I need to know if he's uh in Cancun. I don't know if he's in Cancun or Cabo or whatever. Wait, where are you going? Cancun. Oh, I thought you were going to Cabo. All right, if you haven't already, follow all those socials down below. Thank y'all again for tuning to another episode of No Workers Podcast, episode number 44. Shout out to y'all if y'all watched the whole episode. I never said that before. Shout out to y'all if y'all watched the whole episode, man. You know what I'm saying? Follow all the socials down below if you haven't already. It's all going to be linked down below. Tyrone shit going to be linked down below. Yeah. And like I said, join the Discord. Merchandise coming soon. 
Uh, subscribe, comment. If you want to DM me, all that shit, just ask me, you know. I'm for, uh, I will be f- I will be able to talk to y'all niggas, so it's all good. And yeah, merch coming soon, all that good stuff. And you got anything else you want to say before I end this shit, my brother? Um, nah, that's it, bro. You know, 12 up top. Yeah. 12 up top? Yeah. Hey, yo. <laughs> we different than regular no records, man. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.